bruh. <laughs> Bussin', bruh. Was it? Kids these days. We were just making fun of the kids. Bruh. Bruh. You do too much, bruh. <laughs> Bussin', bruh. Bruh. I'm like so bruh. messed up on my. I don't know why they go, bruh. What is that? Think. Hello, everyone. I, Hello. I don't know. Hello. I don't know what's up with that. Hello. Are we in focus? Am I in focus? Yeah, I'm in focus. Okay. Sometimes I look fuzzy, but it could just be me. It's also my shitty contacts get... that I bitch about every week on this thing. How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday, bitches. There we go. There Wednesday, we go. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Who we got in here? Yeah. Oh, shit. I just totally fucked that up. I think everything's working right. We were rushed to set up tonight, so a little last minute. So if anything's out of place, it's because we were kind of behind shit. Ivan's up in here. We Christopher, what's up, Ivan Christopher? Tony, Theron, First Phil, what's up? Joe V, uh, what else we got? Two eggs in a basket. Every time I think of two girls, one cup. Swole ass <laughs> Dustin M, what is up? Christopher Spades, not Christopher Spades, Christopher and Spades. Travis and Jess, Nick Hill, another Swole, my Swoller McSwollerton. Chris, Jeff C, Nicole, our resident OSHA random facts distributor. Maurice, what's up? Nicole got her certification. All right. 510 certified. Okay. Certified. Did I say certified? There we go. 510 certif certified. Certified. Uh, David Stewart, what's up, my dude? Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Don't tread on me. Rick. Sheila is in the hizzle. Hello, ladies. Sarah Bear. What's going on, Sarah Bear? Who else? James F. I think I've caught up. Brian. Glenda. Good to see you, Glenda. Built, built, Biltastic? Biltastic. Built, Biltastic. Biltastic? Is that what that says? Biltastic. Built. Built-tastic. Right? Yeah. God, I'm illiterate. Rodney. Odie, man. All right. I'm going to stop reading off names. Derek Wilson, last one. Zach, last one. Long Ash Lucas. Sorry, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Everybody else, if I didn't get to you, I'm sorry. We love you all. We're glad you're here. Hope you're having a good week. Got a couple interesting things to go over. Dying. Dying. First thing we got to do, I'm going to need some suggestions. Well, we'll wait. How many people are in chat? 189. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We're still pretty early on. Usually takes about 20 minutes for everybody to trickle in. AJ Jarvis, what's up? Uh, usually takes a little while. November whiskey for everybody. My um, my buddy at the cigar shop or cigar shop. Jesus Christ! I'm telling. Today was. I know. I say this every Wednesday. But that's because every that's because every Wednesday every is Wednesday same. is a fucking doozy. It's a doozy. It's like. Because there's already stuff going on Wednesdays, getting ready for the live stream stuff. I had a video put out. We had to make some changes to the video. But have, I have all my meetings on Wednesdays and conference calls and shit on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays are already pretty slap full. And Wednesday is also always the day that if something's going to fuck up, it does. So, and, and just about every Wednesday it does. So Wednesdays are hectic as shit. Where was I going with that? Oh, that's why I'm scatterbrained and can't talk. But my boy at my gun store, First Coast Firearms, my peoples, Jason and... Uh, I was, about to say, Logan. I was about to say Lucas. What the hell's wrong with my brain tonight? I'm telling it's you. Fried. It's fried it's today. Fried. My brain is fried. Uh, Jason had texted me right before we got on here and wanted to know, he's got a special occasion coming up, and he wants to know my recommendation for a best whiskey to buy for $400 or less. For $400. 400 like One bottle? For one $400. bottle, yeah. It's a special occasion, so he wants a good one. And I was like, oh, man, that's a pretty high price range. Like, there's a lot of really good shit and I feel like in that price range of like four hundred dollars, there's it's going to be more of an issue of if it's available because usually shit at that price range right. is like hard to but find. There's stuff. also not as many to choose from well, at that price range. But, like that but narrows also, down. but also everything at that price range is pretty fucking delicious. So once we get yeah. some people in the chat, we're going to ask everybody what their suggestion is. See, and then we'll do a poll. I'm thirsty. Thir thirsty is a motherfucker. <laughs> Making that grill video, man. Got a got a brother dehydrated. Blanton's gold. That's a good one. I wonder if you can get a bottle. Blanton's is always good. Yeah. 
But 400 you could definitely easily find Blanton's gold for that price. And I even told him, I was like, man, I feel like, um, I feel like for that price, you, you could probably honestly get a really good bottle for cheaper than 400 Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Like, you can get a pretty special and really good bottle. For sure. Because once you get up over, like, the 150 yeah, 200 well, Right. Once you get up in that 200 price point, you're hitting a lot of really good shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Derek says old tub. <laughs> Uh, Maurice, you can I don't get think about uh, what eight bottles of shit. Old you, you can get more than eight. How it's much it's only it? like twenty five dollars a bottle. Oh well, they so you, like sixteen. You, you can get about sixteen. You get yeah. food. You can get alcohol poisoning. Um, Maurice McAllen eighteen is a good suggestion, but I don't. He's not really a Scotch guy. He's more of a bourbon guy. So it would be limited to probably bourbon, maybe American whiskey, but uh, not Irish, not Scotch. Not Japanese, nothing like that. It would it would pretty much be uh, some kind of bourbon. Um, so I don't know. I've got, I, there's some suge- like this is exceptionally good tonight. Is I it? think it's the large ice cube. It's the uh, the large ice cubes are. People pretend like the large ice cubes are just bougie. It's like oh you know fucking ice is like the large ice cubes make a difference, and the clear ones make a difference. You it definitely see. looks prettier with. The well, it's clear. not just looks pretty, but. There's less air bubbles in there, so it's more dense, so it melts slower, so your drink doesn't water down as fast. There's like a whole thing. Yeah. There's more to it than just people people say shit, but it's it's true. Um <laughs> bunch of smart asses in here. Case of truly <laughs> Irish mist. Old Forester barrel proof barrel proof would be a good one, but it's not near four hundred dollars. Um I don't know. I I would say a bottle of Stag, but bottles of Stag are way more than 400. Stag Junior you can get for less than 4. The other thing is he's not a huge fan of like uh super high proof stuff. So, you are kind of limited to you know, stuff like yeah, Blanton's. It's going to be a little more. Well, yeah, because usually stout. when you get up into that expensive shit, then everything's barrel proof and he's not a huge fan of like super high proof stuff. So, I don't know. We're going to have to do some thinking. I've been trying to convince them to go with barrel proof. I've been trying to sell. I've been preaching the fucking the word every week when I go up there. Because I go up there just about every Friday and hang out. Which, by the way, we've got a story we'll talk about while we're on here tonight. We went shooting uh, at, um, uh, a, a buddies that owns some property. All the guys at the gun store get together on Fridays, and they, they like to go shooting. And we went last Friday, and it was a hell of a good time. We use night vision. We do night shoots. So we, we went like we're a little bit before dark, got a little bit of day shooting in before. And then when it got dark, we busted out all the night vision and stuff and did some night vision shooting with lasers and thermals and all the things. And it was a hell of a lot of fun. So we'll have to talk about that more because also there's a nod fund update coming. How many people are in here? Two, 231. So it's, it's getting close to the normal crowd. So once it gets up, we'll start talking about some of this stuff. I don't want to have to repeat myself at some point. So I'm kind of holding off. But I tell you what I am going to do is I'm going to light this cigar like quick like because here's the deal. Here, 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 here's the deal. <laughs> I got a long dong King Kong over here, okay? This baby here is going gonna, is gonna <laughs> to... better go ahead and light that shit now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We're going to... Before I get to talking about too much more shit, we're going we're gonna to get going. We're, we're going to get going on this. Because this, I believe this is a seven-incher. About seven, about seven. Um, <laughs> and uh, we need to get cranking. So out of order for what we normally do, I'm going to jump. We're going to do the B-roll. We're going to talk about the cigar. And we're going to get this bitch lit because uh, it's going to be a long one. I don't want to be on here till one o'clock in the morning smoking this fucking cigar. So we're going to roll that beautiful bean footage. So tonight's cigar is one of, I mean, this is like one of my all-time most recommended cigars, probably. Yeah, I think it's one cigar of the year in some uh, publication or another about 115 times. It is the Series V Milanio by Oliva. It is a, this one particularly is a 7x50 box press, Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, Nicaraguan filler and binder, and you can pick one up for about $14, $15. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Nice, 
Beautiful wrapper. It's got a good soft box press on it, which I'm a big fan of a soft box press. You guys know that. I talk about it ad nauseum, so uh, you've heard that one. This is just the regular uh, Milanio. It is not the Maduro version. I also really like the Maduro version, but this is not the Maduro version. And this is, of course, kind of the point of what we're doing here. This is one of the cigars in the newly released beginner cigar bundle that we are now doing with the good folks at Provada Cigar Club. So there will be links down below for any of you guys that have not partooken, <laughs> partooken. <laughs> um, of course, we can't link directly to it because YouTube does not allow that, but there will be a link down below. They'll go to my website and blah, 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 blah. So, so, so you, you know, the fucking drill, you know, the drill, but yeah, this is one of the, and you know, I don't know, maybe we'll do it again. Maybe you got, you got, we'll take a vote and decide, do you guys want to do, because one of the cigars that's in the bundle, the beginner cigar bundle, for the next five weeks or four weeks, potentially five, we're going to be doing one of the cigars out of the bundle every week. Um, one of the cigars we already did, though, early on in the yeah. in the live streams. The, um, do you want to do a poll tonight yeah, to the, pick the, the next? Is that what you're saying? Well, we can do a poll to pick the next, but a, a poll to see if they even want to do oh, okay. the, the fifth cigar, because we've already done a live with that cigar. The, yeah. Um, but Lake, maybe Lake, some the, people... The Lake Harim. Lake, Lake Harim, yeah. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like doing it twice could be potentially dumb, but maybe people would just rather still do it again because they missed it or they want to smoke or along. Or it's in the bundle. It's in the bundle, so they want to smoke along. I don't know, that's why I said we'll vote. We'll do a vote like later on and see if, if everybody wants to um, do the Lake Harim again or just do the four that we haven't done on the live stream to go over the other ones in the bundle and then we'll, we'll go to something else. But yeah, so this is the first out of the beginner cigar bundle. And like I said, the, the, when I put this bundle together back a while ago, this is not a traditional beginner bundle that you would normally see. Cause a lot of times you ask people for beginner cigars, they recommend a whole bunch of super mild cigars and several of the cigars in this bundle are not super mild. The Avo is, there's an Avo classic in here and it's pretty mild, but the, there's a barrel aged cigar. There's the Le Carême, which has a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper on it. There's this one, which I would consider kind of like a medium, medium full at times, depending on your situation. Um, and what was the other one? The, uh, we switched out. We used to have a Camacho barrel aged and I subbed that one out for another barrel aged cigar. The, um, uh, stroke, the, the, uh, <laughs> Diesel, Diesel Whiskey Row Sherry Cask, which is another cask finished cigar. So my thought behind the bundle was not to give everybody a bunch of mild shit, but give a beginner kind of a, a cross section of all the cigar world has to offer. Some medium body stuff, some real strong, you know, Connecticut broadleaf dark wrapper stuff, some milder stuff, some barrel finished stuff, a little bit of everything. So you can kind of taste a little bit of it all and kind of start to develop your palate and figure out what lane you want to go down. Because if all you're smoking is mild cigars, you may not realize that you really like a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper or you really like a Habano or a Sumatran wrapper. So I wanted to try to give a, a cross section. Mm -hmm. So that's what my thought behind the bundle when we put it together a while ago. So that was that. Um, give a little, little, little snippety do with the, God damn, those scissors are sharp. A little snippety do with the cigar scissors. Uh, by the way, stock is starting to get a little low on these guys. We still have some left, but it is starting to get low. So if you guys were interested, uh, if you've not already picked yourself up a pair, definitely go check the cigar scissors out because it is a limited run. Not that we'll never put out another pair of cigar scissors again, but we're not ever going to do the brass copper Damascus with S 35 V and steel again. This is a limited thing. So once they're gone, they gone forever and we'll go to whatever the next thing is. But if you're interested, go check them out. Bitches links, but do we have links below on that for what? For the cigar scissors. Um, if they were in there before. Yeah. They're in there. So goddamn thirsty. I need to put new links to, uh, our new apparel. That we are, oh yeah, the new shirt. We are wearing this new, evening. Boop, boop. We both got on new shirts. I got on the cigars, which this idea came up on the pod on the live stream. Somebody said it. Cigars, whiskey, guns. I can't do this. I'm like backwards in my monitor. Guns and freedom. If you don't like all those things, why are you on here? <laughs> <laughs> and then Allison's got the new bourbon, babe. Titties. I mean bourbon, babe. 
And both of these oh, yeah. are available in different colors. There's this color. Well, they're on the web. They're on the website now, but um, or on the bunker site. You can click through either way. But mm -hmm. um, there's this color. There's a gray, which I don't have in my possession yet because that was a last minute thing. Mm -hmm. Gray with pink, mm -hmm. and there's a black, um, a black shirt with white writing. Chris, and they're all unisex sizing, by the way. Chris, I do really need to figure out how to get a stroke counter. I really need one. I need a button that every time I push it, I'm going to look. I bet you there's something out there. There's a, bu a button that like, you know, my button that I do like this right here where I go like, um, where I go, boom, smash that like button. I need one of those that every time I push it, it does a stroke count and adds a stroke. <laughs> yeah. So we can have a stroke counter. <laughs> I, I agree. Like that bitch up. Yeah, like it up. Like, search it up. Search it up. Search it up. How many cigars do you have in your humidor, Jeremy? You know, you'd be surprised. I rarely have a bunch of them in there. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll buy a bunch of cigars and really stock them up. But I smoke so many fucking cigars that oftentimes I don't have more than 50 or 100 cigars in there, maybe. I mean, like I said, there are times that I'll have five, six, seven hundred in there. But most of the time I smoke through them and then I'm getting low. And the ones that are in there are ones that I'm saving for review or whatever. And, and, uh, it is not uncommon for me to have a hundred or less in there at any given time, even though I think that humidor holds like a couple of thousand or something. Um, uh, light that cigar and then you missed, a, I don't, I don't think you said the super chats, did you? What's that? Did I have, do we have super chats? Two, but you need oh, to light shit. the cigar first. Okay. I'm a light cigar. I'm gonna put the super chat up. Okay. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get the cigar to, yeah. Cause it's eight seventeen. This cigar is a, this cigar is a, like I said, it's a long dong. This is a daily occurrence. I it's have to keep him. Long dong, ding dong. Got to keep him focused. Uh, keep him in line. Long dong, ding dong. Keep him on task. Ding dong. The word. Because he's like a squirrel. The word ding dong is funny. Ding dong is funny. It's like a little kid. Did you see that that uh, Instagram thing I sent you with that little Scottish girl? Yeah. Talking about the caravan. Yeah. <laughs> Two sausages in the caravan. She was, it was the funniest shit ever. She's like, yeah, I want the garlic mayo from Aldi. Uh, she was Scottish as fuck. It was yeah. great. It was the greatest yeah, thing ever. It was cute. Her saying caravan was cracking me up. She's like, the caravan. I want two sausages in the I caravan. I could hardly understand anything. Oh, she was dude, saying. it was fucking it was so, fantastic. So Chris, strong. thanks for the super chat, buddy. Looks like we're going to be here till tomorrow with this cigar. No shit, Chris. I'm telling you. Especially. <laughs> With I'm going to try to be, I'm going to try to like, just not ever put it down. Cause when I put it down is when I fuck up. Yeah, keep I need to just hand. keep it in my hand and just constantly be, pu be puffing, be puffing, bruh, 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 Jeff C doing too much. with the 10 spot. Thanks buddy. The nods are almost here. That's the, that's the update. How many people we got in here? So yeah, so we're, we're getting, we're like 296, we're almost 300. That's pretty, pretty normal for us. So the nods fun and don't get me wrong. The stuff that goes in there tonight, we'll still throw in there. Um, because I'm matching whatever was donated. So, you know, whatever. Um, but then going forward after tonight, we're going to have to get a new fund. So it might be like, a, I don't know, some different gun, fucking Barrett 50 cal fund, or I don't know. We'll come up with something. <laughs> something else fun that we can do some footage on the live stream. I mean, obviously we can't fucking shoot a 50 cal on the live stream, but we can uh, do something. But anyway, we'll come up with something new. Because the nods are funded. They're funded. At whatever whatever the total is after tonight's live stream, I'm going to match it. Actually, I'm going to more than match it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to make you guys wait forever. Uh, and we do. Uh, we really appreciate everybody, you know, putting in and stuff in the super chats. Uh, and I think we are up to like close to three grand. So I'm just going to throw in like another. I think it was a little over. Like a little over I think, three. I think yeah. it's like 3,500 or something. Yeah. So I'm going to throw in another five-ish. And... Uh, and um, I've got the nods picked out. I'm going to go to the gun store this Friday. And as long as there's some in stock, we're going to get them ordered. They usually take a couple days to come in. After I went out shooting this past Friday and I used nods and I shot. I knew once he went, I was uh, like, it's over. Dude. It's fucking over. Dude. We're not waiting any longer. <laughs> it was so, bro, let me tell you, for all you guys in here that know about night vision or have night vision, okay, let me just say. It's a fucking superpower. Okay. <laughs> it, it is the craziest shit. Like I understood and I understand night vision and all the things, 
But until you go out and it's fucking like pitch black dark, there were some stars and stuff, but I mean, I couldn't see shit that was like, there was like a, a trailer because we were out in the field that he had cleared and he had a couple trailers and stuff over and, and across the way. And they were like 15, 20 feet away and I couldn't see them. Like I couldn't tell you there were trailers there. Like that's how dark it was. Right. And then you go, turn on the nods and then it's fucking daytime. It is daytime and I'm like, I came to the realization that he who has nods kills fucking everybody. I'm talking about the stars. <laughs> the stars are wild. I never looked at stars under nods. You could see the Milky Way. It's the craziest shit. Now, I know there are parts of the world that you can see the Milky Way in period, like places where there's very low pollution, very little light pollution stuff, like, you know, certain parts of the world in the wilderness you can see. But normally here in Florida, between the humidity and the just, you know, general whatever and the light pollution, because even when you're out in the woods here, it's not that desolate like certain parts of the country. You can't, it's hard to see the Milky Way. But you could see the whole, like the stardust and shit. You could see like the Milky Way. It was fucking bananas, dude. It was bananas. Um, so really, really wild and crazy shit. Um, oh yeah, I put it down, didn't I? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Odie Man says, NVGs fuck. They do, bro. They for real do. For real. He who has night vision kills everybody. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, no wonder we kick everybody's ass at war. Because good luck, good luck fighting off a bunch of people at night that have night vision if you don't. Good yeah. fucking luck. They're all donezo. Mm-hmm. 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 I think the uh, the ones I'm going to get, I don't know. I don't think I've seen Beaver in here yet. Beaver is our resident night vision expert. That motherfucker. Well, you know, Mike, here's the thing about the thermals and the NVGs. A guy out there had thermals, and thermals are good, but night vision has its own thing. So what I think I want to do is get the night vision, and now they have these, they're like four or five grand, so I'll have to wait a little while so she doesn't kill me. Um, but they have these thermal overlays that you put one, it kind of, it's an attachment that goes over one of your, your eyepieces of your night vision. And then it gives you a thermal overlay over the night vision. So you have both, which is the coolest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So I think that's what I would, I want to have. I want to have night vision, get the thermal overlay on the one eyepiece, and then you got you got the ultimate go fuck shit up rig. So, you yeah, know, you know. Yeah, you know, November Whiskey, I used a mono tube and some some binos while I was out there. And while I, I, I really like the mono tube, and it, some guys prefer it. Logan actually likes the mono. He doesn't like the, I'll put it down again. He doesn't mm -hmm. like the, he likes having one eye for doing certain things with and for depth perception and, and whatever he says. He just, and to each his own, you know, he says he likes having one eye open. So he really prefers having a mono, but I used both. And me personally, the having one eye under night vision and one eye out, it, it kind of started giving me a headache after like an hour or so. And the two tubes didn't bother me near as much. I really liked looking through too. I enjoyed the two myself. Some people dig them. Yeah, I haven't seen Beaver tonight. Everybody's like, where's Beav? Sometimes Beav pops in a little he later. He pops in a little late. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Someone had asked, uh, I guess you didn't have any luck getting them at cost from that. No, company. no, I didn't. From what I understand, uh, they don't really like to do that too much with night vision. Um, they're pretty... Uh, Oh shit! I almost missed this, Keith. I'm sorry, buddy. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. I received my three k of cigars today. Thanks, whiskey. He received three k's of cigars today. That's a lot of cigars. That's a lot of cigars, bro. You stocked <laughs> up. <laughs> Keith got stocked I up mean, on cigars. Shit. You're getting three k in cigars. You got that's enough cigars for a hot minute. Um, thanks for super chat, buddy. But um, what were we talking about before that? I didn't want to get, miss this get him at cost. Oh yeah. Um, not, not big fans. Like right now they don't even have any on their website. So getting him at cost kind of tough, but so I think the ones I'm going to get are, um, 
They're like eight grand. I think eight, right about eight grand, something like that. Well, the cost I can get them for is eight grand. I can get them at a little bit of a discount. I think the retail on them is a little higher than that. But what's the brand? AGM, I think was the brand. It was something that Jason really recommended. He had a couple pair of them and he really liked them. Yeah, their AGM is the brand. Um, they seem really nice. I dig them. You can get them for a reasonable price. Like I said, I can get them for about eight. I think retail on them is about 86, 8700, something like that. So I can get them at a little bit of a discount. You can go down the fucking rabbit hole and you could spend 12 or 13, but um, honestly, the ones that I saw that were that, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly good with those. Uh, they are white Foz tubes. It's dual white Foz tubes for those. Yay, mm. Kyler said she got a shirt. God. Whoa. Cute. Whoa. New shirt. Beaver nugget. <laughs> Keith <laughs> said beavers hunting more, more jail fugitives. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Frankie said, Big Al's getting a bunch of water bottles if you spend 8K. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, bud. We would have to get a... We'd I have just to... want another... I want another one of these. Why? Why do you need just another one? Just a different one? color. Well, then, I mean, just order another color. Oh, I'm going, well, I mean, they're on pre-order right now. They're, they're, they have, they're fucking have pre-orders on water bottles? Yeah, they are sold They sold out. Oh, Jesus Christ. What yeah, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Not alone. My no, girls know. No, I didn't get a Sig Spear, but um, Jason, the guy at the gun store that owns a gun store, he just got one, and we shot it on Friday, and he had a Huxwork suppressor on it. So it's like I think it's a it's the shorter Sig Spear. What I think it was twelve, thirteen inch. I can't remember. It's the SBR version of it, so it was shorter. But he had a Huxwork suppressor on it, and he tricked it all out and put an aim point. Uh, red dot on it and all the goods and we shot it on friday and dude that thing is a fucking peach oh it is a peach i mean it shoots so smooth man it's just so nice so so very nice so he got the sig lt the spear lt the sig spear the 308 version is still up there at the gun store nobody's bought it yet and uh, I keep thinking about it, but then I saw some reviews where people were having magazine over insertion issues in it. And I was like, man, that's an expensive rifle. And if people are having issues, I don't know, maybe because, you know, sometimes when brand new rifles come out, there's some bugs and sometimes it's not a bad idea to let them work those bugs out before you go and get them. So I don't know. I haven't decided about the Sig Spear yet. I did pick up a Daniel Defense. I don't know if I talked to you about but I was about that. I got a Mark 18 upper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. How's the Siggy? I was gonna skip open. Have... I was gonna give opening notes, but I actually, and I wrote the notes on this a long time ago when I smoked this cigar when I originally did this bundle. So we'll see how accurate my my notes are to what I'm tasting tonight. Because a lot of times when I take my notes for these lives, I take them like the previous night so that I'm it's fresh. This was like months ago, months and months ago. Here it is. Oliva V. Milanio. This was a slightly different size. It was a, but it, same deal. Same, same basic cigar. It's still a, it was a 52 instead of a 50 ring gauge, but uh, same cigar. Oh, I forgot to do the sniff test. We forgot to do our sniff test. See, I was so we rushed. We were in a hurry. I was hurry. And I, um, Guffy's here. Hello, Guffy. Gufferino. Hope you're having a better week, buddy. Sig has been sitting on my bed on new release lately. New releases lately. Yeah, dude. Sig puts out new releases like uh, every, I don't know, Tuesday of the, uh, like every Tuesday. They're like, hey, we got a new one. There's a new Sig P320. Hey, there's a new P365. There's three new. <laughs> Sig pumps out different models of, of fucking guns faster than I can keep up with them. I'll tell you that much. We got to do a sniff test, babe. Um, Sheila, this is the, um, you know, she was asking what color shirt I have on. There's only you'll see when you Ooh. look at the um, Ooh. at that's the site because it's nice. like this and black and gray. So I think it's like a oatmeal or tan. I don't know what it's called. Let me see. I'm getting some cedar. I think the cedar I'm getting is from from it sitting in my on a cedar shelf in my humidor though. 
A little bit of, little bit of booty. Booty. <laughs> a little bit. That's of, an odd. A uh... <laughs> little bit. A little bit of barnyard booty. A little bit of dookie. No, it's got a little, little bit of a newer smell. Some sweet tobacco. A little bit of hay. Maybe a little bit of. Maybe a little bit of cocoa on the foot. You tell me. You give it your sniffer. We always let oh. Al. We always, I was like, you can me the lit cigar. No. Yeah. Here, smell the. Smell oh, that's the, definitely a footy. See, it's a little dookie, right? I don't know about dookie. Smelled a little like a. Butt. No, it's it. No, it smells like a. Like, it smells like your flip flop. <laughs> Why you gotta say my flip flop? Because mine don't stink. What you trying to say? My flip flops do not smell it. His flip flops stink no. so bad. Oh, stop it! They do. That's because I do yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's because I do fucking work and I sweat. Yeah, that's kind of stinky. I don't really like to smell that. Is she over here saying my flip flops stink, y'all? That's fucked up. Captain you, Charisma, we don't have. There's purple was not an option. You believe she just she just fucking die me out like that? Say my flip flops stink. That's fucked up, y'all. They do. They do. Well, I mean, I sweat in them a lot, man. I'm out there working. I'm over there on that grill cooking, sweating while you're sitting there sipping on a nice sweet tea in the shade with a fan blowing on you. Meanwhile, I got buckets of sweat pouring on my flip flops. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 I know, right, Dustin? I'm just saying. Big Al calling out Jeremy on foot stank. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Who doesn't like the smell of flip? All I'm saying if, is if your flip flops don't have a little bit of funk to them, you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So that's what I get on the the, the smell of the thing, though. Um, color, you guys see medium medium color. Pretty firm pack. Like I said, it's a nice soft box press, which I really like. Now. First third note in my my book, I said, sweet, soft, cocoa, slightly nutty, touch of leather, very mild pepper, soft, velvet-like smoke. Mm. Velvety. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We'll get to Rodney's comment in a second. What did he say? He said, how do flip-flops stink? She's got stinky feet. I guess. It depends on the type of flip-flops Yeah, don't tread on me. You would think that the flip-flops, given that your entire foot is open to air, except for the bottom. Hold, hold the fuck on, all you Judas sons of bitches. Just wait a second. I'm just saying, those. I think it's because the flip-flops he wears are kind of like a, yeah, yes. a little bit of a foam. Yes. Uh, like cushiony, mm -hmm. and I think it's it's porous, right? So it just like absorbs the foot sweat, mm -hmm. and it just hangs out there. Mm -hmm. Festers, festers. You're really pushing it tonight, Al. You're really fucking pushing it tonight. <laughs> uh huh. So uh, I would say definitely velvety smoke. I'm not getting the cocoa yet that I have in here. Right now I'm getting, I am getting a little leather. I'm getting a little nuttiness. There is a mild pepper that's in there. Eh, yep. Yeah. Almost a little bit of a breadiness. So like a, a pepper, some mild pepper, kind of a, Little sweetness underneath everything, generic sweetness. I, I don't have a, a, a specific sweetness like a fruity sweetness or, or honey sweetness that I could point to at this point. It's just kind of like a generic sweetness. Leather, a little nutty, little pepper. I don't, know. Okay. I don't know if I'd say That's cocoa okay, yeah. yet. I'd say maybe a little bit of a coffee flavor. I don't know that I'm getting cocoa yet. But I think I think it does come in at some point. This cigar is a little longer than the original one I smoked. Uh, and the gauge is a little different. So some of the flavors might come in and out a little different on this one. Um, 
But I would say maybe a little bit of a coffee situation, definitely some leather, mild pepper, vel for sure velvety smoke. But that's where we're at so far. We'll, we'll, we'll touch back in here in a little bit after we get cranked on this guy. So Roddy, to answer your question, and all you freaking Judases out there, I wear flip-flops that have like a very, it's almost like a memory foamy kind of, uh, it's a very foamy, soft, yeah. absorbent soul, which makes them very comfortable because they like was, form to your feet and stuff. AJ was saying Olakai flip-flops rock. That's what he has. Yeah. They're Olakai. Olakai. Yeah. But they are very absorbent because of the type of material they're made of. So if you're like me and you're outside and you're sweating <coughs> a lot, whether it's your foot sweat or whether it's sweat running down your legs and drip it into your flip-flop because it's in Florida, it's 900 degrees. When that absorbent material absorbs sweat day after day after day after day, it starts to get a little loud. You know what I'm saying? It starts to get a little loud. That's why I said if you ain't if your flip flops are not stinking a little bit, you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing it right. Line <laughs> Frankie say, hold the fuck on, Al. I don't know what it's, I don't know which part of what I said. I have to show Sheila. This is the meat. She was asking about sizing and stuff. This is the medium, and I just cut I just cut the bottom. Because otherwise it don't fit over Be, my hips. Because Allison cuts fucking everything. Her and my so mom both. I cut it and I cut the collar. Her and, my, her and my mom cut everything. They cut V's in their collar. They like make a cut in the collar to open it up like a V. They cut the bottoms off. I'm like, why do you guys immediately like destroy all your shirts? And they're like, that's how we like them. I mean, like this one, I'll crop. But I, the extra, I got extra large. I can wear that. It covers my, my booty. So mm -hmm. I can wear that one with the. Uh, Cover your booty. Leggings and stuff. Cover your booty. Yo booty, yo booty. Okay, hold on. Let me get into the comments here. Nicole. Let's see. Where are we at? <clears throat> I think you're probably behind. I'm probably way behind. Hold on. Birkenstocks. Some of the Crocs. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Somebody said, what's up with the lightsaber behind Al? <laughs> you can see this light. Oh, move that light over. <laughs> Usually that lights usually that lights out of frame. That's what I was telling you. Some stuff might be uh, a little uh, a little different. No. 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 Keep going. Keep How going. far? Keep going. I'll tell you. Keep going. Keep going. Jeez. Keep going. A little bit. Eh, there you go. You're there. It You're. It didn't look like it was that close. Yeah, I know. That's why I always like to test that shit before we start. But we were, we were uh, in a rush tonight. Um, oh, I got to we scroll were, way down. We were in a rush. Texas Taurus, what's up? He said, what's up, y'all? She cut a perfectly good shirt. Rodney, that's what I'm saying, dude. She always, she always does it, bro. She always does. It's because up the here, boulder, what's up, y'all? It's not the same as down here. It doesn't the shirt is long and it doesn't fit over my hips. Mm-hmm. So Ash and Cass, I taste tobacco. You smoking the same cigar tonight, buddy? What's it? Anybody who's got this cigar tonight, y'all put what you're getting so far. Let's have a cooperative cigar tasting. Communal cigar tasting. If you're smoking a Milanio tonight, tell me what you're getting. You're getting leather? I'm getting leather. I'm getting a little leather, some nuttiness, nice mild pepper. There's a little bit of like an earthiness in there. And sometimes leather and earthiness almost to me kind of like the leather is like it's an earthy flavor, but it's a little sharper than earth, if that makes any sense. I don't know if that, that, that's a good way to explain it. Leather and earthiness. Well, because leather is kind of an earthy flavor. You know what I mean? Like when you say earthy flavors, mushrooms, stuff that tastes earthy, soil, earthy. L what is it? Lomi. 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 Lom Lom Lomi. Lomain. Leather, dark coffee, and some pepper. I would say that's that's pretty good. I wouldn't disagree with that, AJ. I'm getting a lot of that stuff. Dark coffee. That's what I was getting. As I was saying, I don't know if I was in my notes. I put cocoa. I don't know if I'm getting cocoa yet. It was more of like a more a little more bitter than a cocoa, even though cocoa can be bitter. I have to say, I'm I'm very impressed with Sarah Bear's um, tasting notes. Leather, pepper, and a little She's chocolate. Good. She's on it, dude. She's yeah. on it. Leather, pepper. The leather's for sure there. 
That was like one of the, the leather and the pepper, are the two that stand out the most to me. <laughs> we got, I taste tobacco. <laughs> That's me. Leather nuts. <laughs> Definitely getting some pepper. Leather and pepper. Definitely leather, hen of earth. Hey, Lancero. You know, I've never had one of those. Rodney's smoking the Lancero version. I've never had the Lancero version of this cigar, now that I think about it. And I really... Is that a skinny one? Yeah. The and, long skinny one? Mm -hmm. And I generally like a Lancero. Uh, if, of all the Vitolas, a lot of times Lancero sometimes is my favorite one. Not necessarily the smoking experience because sometimes Lanceros can be a little annoying because they're so thin that if you don't have somebody that really knows what the fuck they're doing rolling them, they can get clogged and have mm -hmm. a lot of draw issues. But the the... I don't know, just the, the ratios of the filler and the binder and the wrapper and all that in Lanceros, oftentimes it's it's a tasty, it's a tasty version. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see. <laughs> what does that mean, David? What do you say? He said sometimes Big Al sounds like the ladies from the older SNL Christmas special for sweaty balls. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> sweaty balls with Alec Baldwin. That was what? a fun. What do I do, though? Uh, I don't remember the skit completely other than talking about the sweaty balls. I remember. I don't I, remember I how the that ladies. Term, I remember. I don't remember how the ladies acted in that one. <laughs> Frankie said, I'm getting a Jeremy flip flop note. <laughs> <laughs> little footy. Is it a little footy? Little, uh, little, 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 little bit of footy. Hands down, my new favorite cigar. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't, <laughs> don't tread on me, said his new favorite. It's a good oh, one, man. Oh, yeah, I saw that he said that. It's a new... Let me tell you something. This cigar in different publications, Cigar Aficionado and all the different ones out there, there's about a different hundred people that list their favorite cigars or have Cigar of the Year competitions and awards and whatnot. But this damn cigar has won like 37 different cigars of the year. I mean, it's it's won a lot. A lot of people really like it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a banger. It's a banger. Leather cocoa light coffee. Okay. So a lot of people are getting very similar. Leather spice makes it all nice. I agree, Jeff. I agree. Leather cocoa roasted nuts. Nice, Doug. Nice. <laughs> I like this. I don't know why I've never asked people to do this before. Asked it? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck did I just say? I don't know why I've never asked more people to do this because it's, it's fun to see if people are getting similar notes to me or if people are getting something totally different because here's the thing. So usually man. people do chime in i know sarah bear is always sarah bear sarah bear does usually giving us in. her her mm -hmm. stuff but and she's usually pretty bang on yeah she is that's why i said i'm impressed but here's the thing that people, i can't taste shit here's the thing that people need to understand about cigar tastings and this is the same about whiskey tastings and if any snobs disagree with me on this they can suck balls it's a personal experience there's no wrong answer right you have some people that want to get judgy about it and they're like oh it's like no dude what you taste is what you taste. Everybody, yeah. Everybody's taste buds are different, right? Some people, like me, love cilantro. Some people fucking hate it. Some people think cilantro tastes like I soap. I love cilantro. I love cilantro. Um, so if anybody, if you ever feel shy or weird about your, just whatever you're tasting, just whatever off the top of your head. If all you're tasting is tobacco and cigar, that's all you're tasting. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You know? Yeah. If you're tasting chocolate and leather, great. If you're tasting fucking... Uh, Purple Kool-Aid. That's fine, too. Like, whatever you taste. I've had some fucking crazy flavor notes before, and people are like, what? <laughs> like, when I was talking about old sweet books, people are like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, actually, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, it's like, it's, it's, it's an old sweet book. How many old sweet books are you eating, motherfucker? And I'm like, I, right. I'm just saying. You need to scroll. How do you pick the cigars for the show? It depends. A lot of times I'll sit down and think of cigars that I really like or new cigars that I want to try. I'll go buy some. And if they're good, I'll put them on here. If, if it's a cigar I don't like or if I try a cigar and it's not good, I don't usually waste my time doing a whole live stream on it or, it, it, you know, it's just not worth my time. Um, but the stuff that I really like that I think is worth telling you guys about because, you know, that's the other thing is we always – try to encourage people to buy them for the live stream and smoke along. Well, I don't want to encourage people to buy a cigar that sucks. <laughs> you know? yeah. So I usually try to make sure there's cigars I like. Sometimes if I'm running drive ideas, I'll tell Brian, I'll be like, Hey, cause you know, he has a different approach and there's different stuff that he likes that I don't always know about. I'll, you know, call him and be like, Hey man, send me like a, 
bunch of cigars that you're really hot on right now. And yeah. then I'll smoke through them and see if any of them speak to me. And uh, usually it's about half and half. Some of them aren't really my thing and I won't include them. And the other half that I really enjoy, I'll, I'll include. So we, we pick them several different ways. Same way I used to do when I did episodes of Leaf and Barrel instead of the lives. And then half the time he's like, these are the ones I like. Are they in stock? Yeah, these are the ones How I like. How many can you get? Right. If a lot of people want to buy them, are we going to have enough? So that's why sometimes it's a lot of like... Back and forth. Yeah. Because I don't want to pick a cigar that nobody can get. Because I always like to make them available through Brian if I can. Because I know people's local selection of cigars isn't always great. Yeah. Um, so I want to be able to make it through to where if you want to order them through Brian, you can. And I don't want to do a cigar that's only, he's only got 50 of them. Cause then if a bunch of you guys want them, then you can't get them. So yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. There's, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, where's my, where's my thing? Where's my thing? Hi, here we go. Mm, 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 uh, guess mm, what, babe? What? I got an email this afternoon from still Austin mm -hmm. and they're going to send us a bottle of their new whiskey that they're coming out with. That'll be available like in mm. October. Nice. I love Still Austin, man. Those guys it's a have rye. those guys have sent us some straight bangers. Some straight bangers. Keith says he got spice, nuts, and flamunda cheese. But I think what he's saying is Flamunda cheese. <laughs> flamunda. What is that? Flamunda cheese? You don't know what Flamunda cheese is? No. Cheese Flamunda my nuts? Oh God. <laughs> It's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a discharge 308 note. Let me tell you, that's a note. I've actually had cigars before that I'm like, man, that's almost like a little bit of that just just fired off a gun note. <laughs> <laughs> because gun guns do have a very distinct smell. <laughs> There's an ice cream called sweaty balls. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. Earthy flavors. Yep. Lots of earth in here. <laughs> Hints of up dog. <laughs> <laughs> like a leather flip flop. You're, way, you're way behind. Logan says the Milanio is one of his first cigars he ever had. Still one of his favorites. It's a banger, dude. It is a banger. <laughs> If you scroll down, you got a couple super chats. Oh, do I have some super chats? Yeah. <laughs> Lucas is getting some underbutt. <laughs> Ooh. Nicole's about to have some chicken marsala, y'all. Sounds good. I got super chats. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to skip past a lot of comments to get down these super chats. Gufferino! Look guff. at Guffy. The not, guff. Not only does the guff come through the super chat but he reminds people to smash, smash that, that like button, button you motherfuckers mm -hmm. all right all right okay allison it's a long one you read it. maria you read it it's a long one just join back in and the first thing i hear is sweaty balls <laughs> lol gotta love this channel jeremy i tried waiting until the live started to smoke my cigar but after taking a long ass biochemistry exam i couldn't wait i get it biochemistry man I get it. You were stressed That's out. That's a rough one. You were stressed out. You needed some release. You could have just rubbed one out. Uh, I mean, I guess she could have. I'm just saying. That's a stress reliever. <laughs> Rub one out and then have a cigar. Rails? Where are you? <laughs> what rails? Rails? Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go, rails? Rails? Do you see them? Fuck those rails. I don't see them. Fuck those rails. Well, Maria, I hope your biochemistry exam went well. <laughs> And I understand stress makes us crack into cigars a little early. I had about three today because today was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Eric says, I'm two thirds in and got a hint of pizza crust. Strange. <laughs> Smoked this about five times and never got a pairing with Buffalo Trace. To, uh, never gotten that pairing with Buffalo Trace tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know that I've gotten pizza Man. crust. But you know, it that sounds good. <laughs> but you know, it's weird, man. Depending on what you ate prior to can affect how you taste it, depending on what you're drinking it with. You know, like I'm getting some nuttiness in this. I did say slightly nutty in my notes from when I smoked this a while ago, but 
I'm having a sentimental gentleman, as I often do, to start off these live streams, and that has walnut liqueur in it. So a lot of times I don't know if that's affecting the cigar and you know making me get the the nutty vibes that I get. But yeah, there's a lot of variations, man, it, and it's pretty cool actually. I think that depending on what you ate, what you're pairing it with, whatever, it it can kind of sometimes give you different stuff. So one cigar can give you a lot of different experiences. Um, was that any more super chat? Damn, I'm uh, way I back. So. I know. Okay, let me get caught up. Let me get, let me get caught him up him. Caught him up him. Chat's the chat's on fire tonight. Um, y'all need to give me some suggestions though. I, I've got to give <laughs> getting notes of burnt rails. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more suggestions though. Y'all's favorite whiskey to celebrate something up to four hundred dollars. So, not like some budget shit. Um, a celebratory whiskey. Like if you had something big you were celebrating. And you were gonna have to write them. And you were gonna buy a whiskey up to the four hundred dollar mark. Don't don't go over four hundred dollars. So don't you know say like stag because that shit's usually like six seven hundred dollars most of the time. Um, But I need I need some suggestions because I do want to give Jason um, some suggestions for what to buy because he's got something he's celebrating. I couldn't right off the top think of anything other than like you know certain. Like I said, with him it's kind of tough because he doesn't like scotches and stuff which a lot of the scotches is where you start getting into that crazy expensive shit um what is that glenn glenn morangy glenn morangy glenn morangy glenn morangy signet's fucking delicious but it's a scotch but write that down because that is a fucking delicious glenn scotch Morangy. delicious is it signet or signet uh, I always called it Signet, but then again, I'm a redneck. So, uh, Todd Taylor, two dollars. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Chocolate covered espresso beans are good with it. Are good with what? The cigar. Uh, chocolate covered espresso beans are delicious with a lot of cigars. Those notes. I'm gonna re- have to just take a picture. I can't write all these down. <laughs> it goes too fast. Peanut dust. I get peanut dust on it's cigars all, a lot. Disappear. Uh, Whistle pig. Ah, Dustin, I love you, man, but I, I can't suggest Whistle pig. I have. A, I have a. A thing with whistle pig weller a special bottle of weller yeah. could be good if he could get like a, like a bottle of weller 12 like if he could find a bottle of weller 12 that'd be a good one um yeah first coast phil you know what's funny is i was not for the longest time i did not like scotch it wasn't until maybe the last i'd say three to five years that i've started getting into scotch prior to that it was just bourbon for me and um now i really like scotch uh, I would say, I don't know. I don't know that I'll say I like it as much as bourbon just because that's my roots being from Kentucky and whatnot. Like I was my literally cut my teeth on that stuff, but I do really appreciate it. And there are some scotches out there that I absolutely fucking adore there. Like that's, uh, the Glenn Morangy he was talking about. That is some delicious shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. E.H. Taylor. Each Taylor, some good ones. Maybe a special bottle of E.H. Taylor. Those are good ones. Uh, Elmer T. Lee. Ooh, Elmer T. Lee would be a good one. E.H. Taylor. Yeah, Cigar Malt. That's a good one. Did you write down E.H. Taylor? Elmer, Elmer. I'm just taking a picture of the chat because Elmer T. Lee. it's too many to write down. Blue Runs. Uh, there are. If he can get a Blue Run 15, those are, are 14. Is it a 14 or 15? I think it's a 14. I just keep taking it as it goes because... Yamasake. Kevin said, I've heard a couple people say Fourgate. I'm not a big Fourgate guy. Not like I'm not a big Fourgate guy. Like I don't like it. Like I, I've not had for a lot of Fourgates. Like I need to delve a little deeper into the, the Fourgate. Stag Jr. is always a hitter. I would agree. The only reason I did not recommend Stag Jr. to him is he's not a huge fan of super high proof stuff. And Stag Jr. stuff is usually pretty, pretty strong. Blanton's Gold. That's a good suggestion. I might actually, Blanton's Gold could be, and it would be a cool bottle for him to have too. So I might that might be a good one. Mhm. Mhm. Getting several hits for before gate. Several people are saying blue run. Blue there runs are, good. There are some good blue runs out there. Weller twelve. Uh oh, Sarah Bear just took off the bra. Uh, or, oh, Bear. oh oh, you mean on the cigar? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got excited for you for a second, but Guff, I was like, <laughs> Guffy's about to have a little cigar funness, a little cigar and fun. Sarah Bear's getting loose with stuff, but he, he's probably talking about it. Dalmore Cigar Malt is delicious. 
Uh, Blanton's gold. Several people are saying Blanton's gold. <laughs> Nicole says she votes Wild Turkey 101. That does it. He hates Wild Turkey. Which what? I, dude, I know. I've been telling him, but I've been trying to convince him. What the I, hell? Tell him he can't be friends no more. Pappy would be great, but I don't think he can get Pappy for 400. At least not around here. We can't find it for 400. <laughs> David said, I'm just writing this so big I'll see it in her pictures later on. What do you what do you say? Something funny? No. Oh, just just that, just that. Just that he's commenting in there. Midwinter's Night Dram. That could be a good one if he could find that. <laughs> Christopher trying to piss me off again. What he said? Ask Biden what he drinks. Go. Oh, I know. I <laughs> Balvini twelve. There's a lot of good Balvini twelves. Blue run. I've seen blue run a lot. I've seen a lot yeah, of blue a lot of people runs. have said that. Kentucky Al Mickner's ten. Uh, super chat. Appreciate the super chat, Mike Taylor. No comment. Just Mike Taylor super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you, you. Thank you, buddy. Um, Elijah Craig single barrels. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I've seen Blanton Gold num numerous times too. Widow Jane, fourteen year. You know somebody uh, who was oh it was uh, my friend at the liquor store. He the other day he was telling that there's a Widow Jane that he really really loves, and every time it comes in he buys like a case of that shit because he fucking loves it. I forgot which Widow Jane it was that he was talking about. It had a name. It was like Widow Jane something. It had a. I can't remember which one it was, but he was singing the praises of the stuff. Old Forester, oh, Old Forester birthday bourbon would be a cool one. I don't know if you could find that though. That shit's super hard to find. At least around here it is. I never see that shit. Gufferino, thanks for super chat, buddy. Since I haven't been able to get a number from the sire, a number from the sire's place, Sarah Bear got me a number that looks like a cross between a Sasquatch and Guffy. <laughs> you know, we talked about the number today, and those motherfuckers at the place are ghosting Andrew again. So the guy finally answered Andrew after months, said he had been traveling, and blah 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 blah, and he would make us another sample because. We weren't happy with the last sample. We made some more changes. And now it's been like two weeks since then. And Andrew's reached out to him a couple times saying, Hey, you said you're going to make another sample. What's the status? And now the guy's not answering again. You need so to find, just so start I think, over. I think we're going to have to start over, which really sucks because that means it's going to delay the whole thing way more. It doesn't have to, though, if you find somebody that can do it right the first fucking time. Well, that and now that we have a sample. Uh, we could send that to them because we did. I that, mean, this should have. We did that from scratch, which is what took forever because we it took a lot of very a lot of versions to get to this. They kept doing it wrong, and do, the eyes didn't look right, the mouth didn't look right, the head was too. This was so. I mean, it, it took forever, and we didn't want to like screw the guy because he's worked with us so far on it. We didn't want to be like, but he's not. He's being a dick, so we're probably just going to have to start over. And luckily, we do have some samples of this that we could send one and be like, here. <laughs> yeah. So we're not starting completely yeah. from scratch. So, it, but yeah. But really, if they can make that and get the material right, mm -hmm. it, I don't. It shouldn't be that hard. I don't understand. Uh, Maker's Mark, Widow Jane, Decadence. I, maybe that was the one. Uh -huh. Let me take a picture. Maybe that was the one. That's Decadence. On I think that was the one, Dustin. I think it was. I think that sounds familiar. I think that was the one he was talking about. Okay, there's two for Widow Jane Deck. Yeah, I, I, I think Decadence is the one that he said. That sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure that was it. Because I knew it had a name. It wasn't just a year. It was Widow Jane something. And I'm pretty sure he said that was like one of his favorites. Uh -huh. Check with check Cigar Dagger out of California. You know, they reached out and um, yeah, they did, didn't they? They did. Yeah. And I, I might actually reach out to them and see if they're still interested in doing something because they do a lot of that stuff. So they obviously already have it kind of dialed in. And um, that might be that might be the move. That might be the move. 
to check with the guys. Would they from, manufacture for you though? To, that's the thing is I don't know if they or would, it would be like a collab. That's the thing is it would maybe be a collab with them. It wouldn't really be a thing where they would just manufacture it for me. So I don't know how we would do that because I've already done so much with, with exclusive. I wouldn't want to like whittle exclusive out of it. Yeah. Man, if y'all have never had, I know I talk about this almost every fucking live stream. If y'all have never had a fucking sentimental gentleman, you're 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 fucking up. Let's just let's just, you are you're missing out, dude. The sentimental gentlemen's are fucking delicious. You know it's funny because of my mustache. It collects a lot of fluid when you drink, right? It's like a, it's like a paintbrush. It just sucks up as you're, you're drinking. So anytime after I take a drink, I always have to kind of squeegee it out with, with the napkin. And then I put it right here in my crotch so that it holds so that next time I have, you know, and then sometimes when we get done, I get up and there's just like a wadded paper towel in the seat. And I was just like, what the fuck? And it's like, it's got like whiskey on it. Right. You know? So it's like, yellowish brown looking <laughs> it's my man looks nasty it's my man pond <laughs> yeah. do you remember when uh big black talked about the man pond uh when when rob Deerdick had I, his show uh what was that show I called know. it was called um what was it called it wasn't ridiculousness yeah no ridiculousness was a show where he did all the things but what was like the like the it was like the reality show he did that had, had like big black and stuff oh, ridiculousness was like the clip show that he did where he did like home videos and stuff. But there was like a, there was like a, like a reality show that Rob Deerdick did. Big, Big Black was in it. Oh, what the fuck was that show called? That was back in the day. I think that was back in the day when, when, uh, like when MTV still had, well, no, that was when they did, that was after they had. I don't remember the name of it. Robin Big. That was right, it. There you go. Robin Big. And Big Black talked about the man pond. No. Oh, dude, that shit was hilarious, dude. The man pond. The man, big. You know who Big Black is? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. He died, you know. Yeah, I remember. So sad that that dude yeah. died. He was he was a funny dude, but um, the man pond was where if if he ate something that he knew was going to cause him problems, he would roll up toilet paper in a roll, and then wet in his butt crack and wedge it in his ass crack. So that he wouldn't shart because then the, the rolled up paper, the rolled up toilet paper would catch the shart. I mean, he's got a good idea there. Right. So he called it the man pond and it was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> the man pond. Big black dude. That guy was a fucking legend. He, uh, he, he broke the mold, man. No, don't shut on me. You weren't annoying. Did you ask multiple times? I only saw it once. <laughs> he was asking if your shirt's available. It's on the, if you just go to jeremysires.com, either shop at the top or you, scroll. You, you didn't put it on the link? Scroll down. Well, there's links to the other shirts and they're all on the same website. I mean, it's. I, if you go. But to, no, I, I didn't put any links because this wasn't live until like. Well, if you go to my most recent, you know? if you go to the last video, I actually put a link directly to the shirt. You can just copy and paste the link from, um, like open a new tab. Okay. And go, and you can just link it. <laughs> that was a good show, though. I remember Robin Big. That was a that was a fucking funny show. And yes, t Tom, you're right. Big was a fucking legend. That's a that's a good word. That dude was great. Mm. Started with a sentimental gentleman, moved to Buffalo Trace. Delicious. It's a good combo right there. Uh oh. I think I need to put a new Discord Dustin link just picked too. up a shirt. Dustin's probably got an XL or an XXL because Dustin's swole. He is swole. Uh, what is that? It's I just wear a lodge. Here. I just wear a lodge. Just picked up three hats and now I regret not getting a Hank. You can always go back. We appreciate the hats. Mm -hmm. We got the the hats are coming. We got a patch coming. I know a lot of you guys want, wanted uh, the the patches. We uh, we got the patches. The next few things that are probably coming 
are the pa- the patches and new whiskey hats are probably the next two things that'll be dropping sometime here real real soon. And then the man card for this year is coming up before too long. That'll be you know out within the next month to two months max. We've got the man card. Uh, we got our first uh, sample of the man card, and there wasn't a good enough definition in a lot of it, so we're sending them some revisions to get them to redo it. Um, this is a pain in the ass. But um, the man card will be coming before too long. The the patches and the, the whiskey hats will be within one of the other, depending on which one comes in first, might be before the end of the month. We should have one of those. So that'll be good. Derek says, the Hank is slapping them cheeks. I do like the Hank. I've been using it a lot lately, man, because when I cook outside, I keep it in my back pocket um, just to wipe my hands on or wipe the sweat off because I'm constantly fucking sweating my ass off because it's so hot here in Florida. Sarah Bear, the Zippo we're having a lot of problems with. So I don't I don't have an answer on that yet. We're having a lot of problems. Zippo, uh, God love them, have increasingly gotten more and more difficult to work with over the years. And um, we're having a lot of problem with the design we're trying to get done. It, it's not looking right when they're sending us the renderings and it's it looks weird. And then we try to, we, we mock it up differently and send it to them to try to get it fixed. And then they send us another rendering and it still looks fucking weird. So we're, we're having a hard time getting it nailed down. So I, I don't, have a date where we are working on it, but man, we've had like seven or eight back and forth with them where we get our graphic guy to redesign it. We send it back to them. They send us a sample and it looks like shit. So then we have to redo it. It's, it's been a bit of a pain. The first one we did with Zippo was like super easy and quick. And I swear to God, every time we do a new one with Zippo, they get harder and harder to work with. It's like, what yeah, the they've f- been kind of a pain. In the They're ass. a pain in the ass, man. They really are. God love them. Jesus. Let's see. <laughs> did, did you did I miss one of your super chats, Maurice? Did I? How did I? I did not see one from Maurice. I didn't see I one. Oh fuck! Too. I totally did. Maurice, I'm sorry, my dude. Appreciate the super chat. I can't believe I missed it. What the fuck? <laughs> um, have Big Al put a foot on the number guy neck? Yeah, I'm telling you, dude. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm about to. <sighs> the the number situation, Maurice. You don't even understand how long we've been working on. I mean, this number we have been working on for over a year. When when is it's been over a year, hasn't it? Did you keep the disc? Did you take the Discord link off of here? I didn't touch anything. I just copied it from the last week. I didn't take anything off. Hmm. I might have copied it from the week before last. So. If you did it last week new, it might not have been on there because last week the some of the descriptions were different because we, we did a weird – last week we didn't have the cigar picked ahead of time, so some of it was different. So I might have done that. But, yeah, I, I'd like to put my foot on his neck, Maurice, because uh, he's real annoying. It's been over a year, and we still don't have um, anything, which, you know, starts to uh, – Starts to be like, it's like, oh, why are things the price that they are? Well, because it takes a fucking year of work <laughs> to get some of this shit made. Mm-hmm. It's such a pain in the ass. I don't think people understand that. It's not only the the cost There's of... There's a lot of... It's, uh, it's not only the cost of the materials that go into things, but it's the, the development of the thing sometimes takes... Oh, it's very annoying. You wouldn't think it'd be difficult, but it really, it really is. When you're doing things from scratch... You know, when you're doing like we've talked about in the past, when you're doing Glen Cairns and shit like that, where, you know, you're just basically just mocking up a logo and getting it put on there. Uh, even that sometimes can require multiple back and forth to get the logo to look right. But especially when you're doing stuff, the custom stuff from scratch. Oh, good God. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> nightmare fuel. Sorry, I missed that super chat, though, Maurice. I can't believe I did that. Um, let me get back caught up. Let me get back up, oh, Chris. Super chat. What the hell just happened? I pushed the wrong button. Um, appreciate the super chat, buddy. Should make a leather wallet, patina, patina, patina. I've done several. Uh, well, not several. I did a leather wallet. The one that I still carry to this day was my collaboration I did with uh, Open Sea Leather. My um, bad motherfucker wallet. It's an Open Sea Hobe. and I did it in natural veg tan leather because I like it. And they did a custom. I don't know if you can see. They're not available anymore, obviously, because of the limited okay. thing. If you can okay. see. Okay. Where's the, where's the focus? There's focus. It says, bad motherfucker on it. And it's the same uh, font. They, that was a homage. Is it homage or homage? Jeez. 
Is it homage or homage? It's a pain in the ass. Homage or homage? Homage. Homage. Was it homage to one of my favorite movies? Pulp Fiction. Um, is one of that, the best it, movies ever made. It was one of the best movies ever made. Uh, exact same font on Samuel L. Jackson's wallet. Uh, which wallet's yours? It's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. So yeah, we did that wallet back a while ago. I'll probably do another collab with Mike uh, from OpenSea too long. OpenSea are my favorite wallets by far. I love OpenSea wallets. Um, I used to carry a lot of Trayback's wallets, and I still really like Trayback's wallets, but by far the open sea wallets are my favorites love them um, love, love, i updated love, the love description them. so the link directly to each of these shirts is in there as well as just all the other links and i put a new link to the discord for anybody who has not joined us over there yet and um that's it i think but it's all if you just Go to the website. All the apparel and all the gear is on there. JeremySires.com. And it's a new site. And it's purdy. Dot com. It's a revamped. Dot com. Let me see an update on the cigar. We're probably in the middle. Now I'm on note. Yeah, Maurice, you can put it in the chat if you want. But I did put it in the description. Too. A new link. Because I think the one I put last week expired anyway. It was only like a seven day thing. <coughs> On my notes uh, for the second third, I have cocoa, more dark chocolate and espresso, nutty mineral leather note, more pepper, some earthy, musty flavors coming in, a touch of caramel. Now, caramel. again, this was months ago when I smoked it. Let me see if I agree with all that. Definitely spicier than it was. The peppers turned up a little bit. Everything's turned up a little bit. The, the, I can get a little bit more. The cocoa is definitely like a dark cocoa or more of like a dark, uh, uh, um, like a espresso note to me at this point than it was like a coffee. It's like a very strong coffee, dark, dark chocolate kind of note. The nuttiness is there. Let me see if I'm getting that mineral note I talked about. Um, I was going to say something. And I forgot because somebody asked a question. Yeah, I can see that. Oh. It's like a, it's nutty, but there is a, a mineral kind of quality to it. If you, if you retrohale, a lot of times retrohaling helps you kind of pull out fainter flavors, little like more uh, subtle flavors that you're not getting. And I understand why I said mineral note because there is, it's a nutty flavor, but it does have a little bit of a mineral quality to it. I could see the caramel. I don't know that I would pull that out off the top of my head right now, but I could see why I wrote that. Because there is like a sweet kind of thing going on, but it is kind of a darker sweet kind of thing. So it could be like a burnt sugar caramel. I, I could see where I was going with that. The pepper is definitely stronger. And it for sure is leathery and earthy. Very earthy, very leathery. Leather, earth, and pepper are still the strongest notes that I'm getting after leather earth pepper being the strongest, then probably um, a little bit of the coffee chocolatey kind of thing. The mineral thing is down pretty low, but it's a hints of it. And then the sweetness and caramels in there too. Mm -hmm. What was I going to say? I have no idea. What's wrong with Sheila? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out. She says she's struggling. Why are you struggling tonight, Sheila? <laughs> What's wrong, Sheila? She got a little sneezy. What, what, what emoji is that? Cry emoji? Sne I, I, I don't know what that emoji is. Is that a cry emoji? I can't ever or, tell. Or is, is it that like a sneezing? Is it a snot emoji? <laughs> snot? Is it sweat? Is it sweat? Is it like, is it, is it tears? Is it snot? What is it? I'm sorry, Sheila. What's going on, man? What's going on with you tonight? What's wrong? What's wrong with you, Sheila? I saw a super chat pop up. Kevin Cruz. Thanks for the 10 spot, my brother. I'll take a Royale with cheese and some nods. <laughs> yes, my man. My man. Another Pulp Fiction aficionado. I, I, dude, that's just such a Do you remember when name. they made that reference in Suits? What, what did they say in Suits? A Royale with cheese? Uh-huh. Did he say Royale with cheese? Yeah. When did he say Royale with cheese with Suits? Uh, I don't remember the whole conversation, but... 
Royal did. Royal with cheese, man. It's it's just it's one of those classics, man. That I mean, fifty years from now, people will still be talking about Pulp Fiction. It's just one of those movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is just a great fucking movie. It really is, dude. Speaking of, I'm that gonna and Fight Club. I'm gonna Fight Club is great. Snatch is great. That's one of my favorite. Tombstone. But I'll start listing my favorite movies, and you'll start fucking nodding off because you're like, "What Tombstone? I've never <laughs> seen Tombstone." And then we're I'm gonna have to go into the whole. Can't believe you've never seen Tombstone. But um, um, I'm gonna nerd out for a second. <laughs> Who wants to nerd out with me for just a moment? Anybody? Anybody? Wanna, I'm always game. For anybody want any, Well, you won't be on this. Oh, is it guns? No, it's not guns. Oh. That's not nerding out. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's nerding out if you're a nerd about guns, which I am. But the, <laughs> but but this is this is more of a oh, what did Sheila say? She's tired. She's had a long week. Oh, she got a stomach bug. Oh, no, she had one. And oh, then had she's one. Just been, yeah. Did you have the puking virus, as I call it? <laughs> I call it the puking virus. And my wife always makes fun of me when I'm like, they got the they got. The he puke. doesn't call it a stomach bug. He calls it the puking virus. The puking virus. I'm like, you got that puking virus. Because if one of the kids get that shit, I come upstairs and I don't come back down. This is what he does. Let me just. Oh, you know what the problem is? Let me just paint the picture for you. I don't you. think we have the. Turn the fan on. We don't have the fan on. Oh, anymore. shit. That's why. I'm like, why does it seem smokier in here than normal? We're in here. Which one is it? The second one. <gasps> Jeremy Sutter. We're in here getting cancer hotboxing ourselves. Hotboxing ourselves. God, I'm going to smell like an ashtray You're going to smell like a straight ash tray. Um, ash tray. This is what happens when our kids get stomach bug and they and they puke. Hold on. Everybody say, okay, let, me let you go. But everybody's saying they, they're ready to nerd out. So, so oh, okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go, go ahead. No, go ahead because this is going to take a while. So go ahead and finish and then we'll, we'll go full nerd. Said kid, whichever kid, pukes. And obviously they come into our room, right, to do this. <laughs> Yeah. Usually in our bed or on our floor. You know how it goes. If you have kids, you you know how it goes. Uh, so then we're awake. We're changing sheets. We're bathing. Ch I say we loosely because we're both awake, but it's me doing the things and Jeremy pointing. And, with, ga and gagging. Pointing, gagging, and spraying Lysol in the air yeah. like this. Did you feel the air now? And like, yes, it's so I much better. It's so much better. I can't believe we didn't have that on. Pointing, we're we're going to die. You missed a spot there as I'm scooping and cleaning. and I yes. can't, dude. I it's can't. It's lovely. Look, look, I could disembowel some, uh, I could disembowel. Uh, over I, in the corner. Uh. I could disembowel somebody and it wouldn't bother me a bit. Blood and guts don't bother me. I can gut a deer. I was cleaning turkey on our fucking kitchen counter and it drove her crazy. Like none of that kind of stuff. Gore doesn't bother me <laughs> oh my God. in the least. Fucking puke. I can't do the puke, bro. I can't do the puke. I cannot. <laughs> just like whack the microphone. I can't do puke. Puking gets me. Uh, I'm just Seth, like, would you leave the room? Just leave. Oh, Go in another room. Jeff C. with the with the twin, twin, twenty. Thanks, yeah, my brother. Uh, let's all add a few hundred dollars to the nods to our family. Appreciate Thanks, you, buddy. Jeff. I appreciate you, my dude. Because let me tell you, there's lots of other shit that's got to go along with the nods. That's what I was telling Allison. She's like, oh, okay, we'll get... I'm like, well, you know, there's also like a couple grand more of shit that you have to get when you get nods because you have to get like a, a D-ball or not D-ball like the steroids, but like the, the IR laser light combo. You, there's other stuff you have to get that complements... You guys know. You guys that are into the night vision and IR stuff, you guys know. So, Jeff, I appreciate you, buddy. You guys are helping. All right. What are you going to nerd out about, babe? We've got one more super chat. Hold okay. on. Okay. Five spot from Darren. Appreciate you, Darren. First, smoking like 30 years, I got wow. some pepper and earthy notes. Other than that, I taste cigar. <laughs> Darren, I get it, man. A lot of people say that. And the fact that you got pepper and earth, you're doing hey, good, man. Yeah. You're doing good. You know what I mean? And those are very predominant in here. So, I mean, even with me... So, you got the big ones, the major ones. Yeah. Even with me liking to sit here and be a, a obnoxious twat and pull out all the fucking stuff, those are probably the most prevalent ones I get also. So, you're doing well, Darren. You're doing, you're doing well. Okay. Nerd now. Nerd time. I need a nerd warning. Have anybody been watching Ahsoka? Star Wars? Anybody into Star Wars? Been watching Ahsoka? Um... It's, it's pretty fucking tasty. 
It's it's real tasty, especially the last two episodes. The last two episodes of Ahsoka have been fucking fire. Okay, straight fire, cheek clapping, awesomeness. Okay, and anybody who is into Star Wars and has not seen the last two episodes is missing out. And if you don't agree with me, you're just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because the last two episodes have been fucking awesome. And I know Star Wars people like to be very judgy because I will say Disney has fucked up Star Wars pretty bad for the most part. But the last two episodes of Ahsoka have been fucking fire, dude. They're so good. They're so fucking good. You, you get to see... Some shit that I've been waiting to see in live action forever. 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 I almost don't want to spoil it if there's anybody in here, but there's some sh I feel like if, if you're, you're not, if you don't want to be spoiled, just like cover your ears for a second. So I'm going to give you a little spoiler, spoiler warning to mute before I say this. So, you know, if you don't want to know some spoilers because you haven't watched it or whatever, just fucking pause or mute or something. Just don't say it. I've got to say it because it's got to be talked about. <laughs> it needs to be spoken about because these, these look, both of these episodes are out. They're done. This is not like a, 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 like a fucking a leak or something. This is shit that's already there. So, I mean, so just, just mute it or some shit. Last warning. <laughs> If you don't want to get spoiled, mute the shit for a minute. Last warning. I don't want to hear any, oh, I can't believe you fucking said that. I'm warning you. Three, two, one. You get to see Thrawn. Thrawn came out like a fucking boss looking like a blue Elon Musk. He did look like blue Elon Musk. That's no joke. And you got to see Anakin. It was badass. Wow. I about shit. Anakin was fucking shit up. He was being a badass. It was awesome. Thrawn came out. You got to see some fucking witches. Some shit's going on. Ezra's back. It's all, it's all good. It's all fucking good. Okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Because anybody who hasn't <laughs> seen it, I don't want to ruin it. But in the, beginning of the, uh, in the beginning of this season, I was like, yeah, this is pretty good, but it's a little slow. Then episode two, I was like, yeah, there's parts of it I like, but whatever. The episode three, I was like, oh man, it's starting to get pretty fucking good. Like, this is pretty good. Episode four, I was like, oh shit, it's getting really fucking good. Then episode five, I was like, holy shit, this is the best Star Wars I've seen in a decade. Like, it is awesome. And then last night's episode was fucking awesome too. It was great. <laughs> can, they, can they unmute? You can unmute. I'm done. I'll type it in there. Johnny G says, nerd. <laughs> I am a nerd, bro. I can't help it. Dude, I've got a fucking nine and three quarters tattoo on my hand. I, I'm not afraid of being a nerd, okay? I no, have Miller, a I'm lost too. I have no idea what he's talking about. You're not alone. <laughs> no clue. Okay. I, I won't, I, I, Everybody I, in the chat's like, all clear. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. I, 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 won't, I won't go anymore. I won't go anymore. I'm done. That, that was my, my moment, my moment to nerd out. Sorry, guys. I, I uh, Don't spoil it in the chat now. I, I won't say anything else. I will, I will just say that if you're a Star Wars fan, even if Disney has pissed you off because Disney pissed me off. Let's also, not go into that. What? I'm, I wasn't, that's not what I'm talking about. Look, don't fucking get all judgy. Just because I think Disney's a woke corporation and they can suck a dick when it comes to all that woke shit they're doing. That's not what I, that wasn't what I was going to go into until you said that. Now that makes Why me... Why else would you be mad at Disney? Because they've kind of fucked up Star Wars a little bit. Oh. Okay, what they've done since George Lucas bought it with like the, the, the three episodes, the, the most recent three, they fucking sucked. Like they made Luke Skywalker a bitch. Like <laughs> it was just, it was a whole problem. So I haven't been super happy with everything they've done. But... Um, this is kind of making me feel better. Mando was really good too. So not everything they've done has sucked because I really do like Mando too. <laughs> Darren says, wow, super nerd. Again, Darren, nine and three quarters tattoo on my hand. Definitely a super nerd. I'm, I'm, uh, 
Yeah, see, Disney destroyed Star Wars and MC. See, a lot of people feel that way about Disney. They've, they've kind of fucked some things up. But there are some redeeming qualities. Basically, anything that Dave Filoni has a big part in, probably going to be pretty good. I bet. Dave Filoni. <laughs> They should just Old let Dave. They should just let Dave Filoni do everything. Don't for know who st- Dave Filoni is. He kind of like mentored under George Lucas. He was the guy that did all the Clone Wars and stuff like that. He was the the mastermind behind all that. If they just let him do everything, it wouldn't be bad. Mm. He's the man. But they let all these other people come in and the corporate people get their hands in and try to figure out what would be the coolest thing to do. And they don't have any idea what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to Star Wars and they just wreck it all. Mm. But Mando's been really good because Dave Filoni had a big part in that. Him and... um... Oh, God. Why? Why does my brain not work? Why does my brain not work? It's a lot going on in there. Dave Filoni and uh, the other guy that I really like everything most most of everything he does. Uh, he was in he used to, he was in Iron Man. He uh, D- Favreau, John Favreau. Dirt to dirt. Um, if John Favreau and Dave Filoni have part in it, it's usually going to be pretty good, especially Dave Filoni. All these other people can suck a fat one. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll stop with the nerding, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> JC says, never apologize for being a nerd. Fly that flag high, brother. Dude, I do. Like I said, I got a tattoo of it. If I, if, I, if I was afraid of uh, flying the flag, I definitely would not have a nine and three quarters tattoo. Not even in a place that I could hide it, like up on my arm high. It's like on my fucking hand. <laughs> so, you know, I'm definitely not afraid to fly the nerd flag. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a I fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Derek says, no, Jar Jar Road Star. <laughs> That poor guy that played Jar Jar, man. He got so much hate. Miller says, Harry Potter understands Star Wars. Eh. No Star Wars? I don't man? understand either. You don't like Star Wars? Star Wars is great. Man. Yeah, the thing that, I think the thing that about Star Wars that does it for me is, like, I grew up with it, right? Like, it came out, the first Star Wars was in 77, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it, that was, like, all my childhood was, like, the, 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 the first, the original trilogy. And then I got older and it was several, like 20 years later or whatever, when they came out with the, the prequels. Uh, and then those all came out. So like, I don't know, man, I've, I've been raised with star Wars from the time I was a wee little, a weed little thing. So it's just kind of one of those nostalgic things, man, that I just fucking love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> love it. I love it. We're love it. Uh, Oh, I need to get Darren on says, this. what? Okay. Darren, you already think I'm a nerd, so what, you're going to love this. Nine and three quarters is the train station from Harry Potter. Or the train gate number, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, you have, like, at a train station, you have, like, uh, eight, nine, ten different stations, different spots in the train station. Well, in Harry Potter, nine and three quarters was, like, the magical train station to get to Hogwarts. Nine and three quarters being because it's in between nine and 10. So it really doesn't exist for most people that aren't magical. It's a nerd. It's nerd shit. It's nerd shit, Darren. <clears throat> uh, super chat from Keith. Thanks buddy. Luke is a bitch. Go. <laughs> How about Ahsoka's bottom? How about her booty? Dude, let me tell you something. They purposely made all those fucking girls have cake in that fucking show because all of them got big old booties. Ahsoka's got big old booty. Fucking, um, what's her shit? Uh, oh, the, 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 the Twi'lek. The, uh, she was in Rebels. The, this she's in Star Wars? Yeah, she's married to, uh, she's married to Ewan McGregor, actually. Um, oh, God, what's her name, dude? I'm, I'm going to lose my dork card because I'm fucking blanking right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of those girls, they got cake. They got cake for show. Um, let's see. Another super chat from Matt. For the tw- with the twan spot, appreciate you, Matt. I wore my Sin Nod shirt this past Sunday during the last day of a three day night vision training class. There my man, that's what I'm talking about. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hopefully, you got some good comments on it. That is awesome. That is awesome. Hopefully, you told them where they could get one. I appreciate you representing <laughs> my brother. I appreciate you. You so you did a three day night vision course. I bet you that was cool. That was fun, wasn't it? You had a good time, didn't you? Don't lie. You had fun. That shit was awesome. I know it was. I know. I know, Matt. I, I, I hear you, bro. I hear you. 
Um, I've actually really enjoyed the guys at the gun store because they go out in the middle of the fucking the woods and do night vision stuff. The woods. And now that the weather has um, gotten better, we're going to be going out on Friday nights quite a bit and doing, um, <laughs> yeah, the green chick, Jason. Uh, I can't think of her name. Sandula. No. Is that her last name? Sandula? Anyway. Um, Do you want to vote for next week's cigar? Do I want to do? Hmm? Do I want to do what? Vote for next week's cigar. We can go ahead and decide it now. Yeah. Do a poll. What are the choices? <laughs> Hang on. I got to go look at the... Fuck. I got to take the bra okay. off. Sarah Bear already took her bra off. I'm taking the bra off. She's a quick one. I'm not, I'm not doing the panties yet, so we're not going to do the oh yeah, because the panties aren't, aren't coming off yet. But there's a lot of bands on this cigar, and I need to do the first one, because I'm, I'm about to start burning this bitch. Yeah. 9.30. We're not doing too bad, dude. It is going to be hard for me to get this cigar done okay. by 10.30, though. Let's see. Beginner pack. All right, so let's go between... Hang on. Hera Sandula. That's it, James. Good job. Hera. Hera. Yes. Hera. See, there's some other nerds. There's some nerds just like me out Let's there. Let's do a poll. We're going to do next week's cigar. <laughs> Sheila says, why do guys like butts? I mean, when guys say nice ass, I'm like, thanks. I keep my poop in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sheila. Uh, I, 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 there's just something about a butt, man. I, it's hard. It's it's a like instinctual thing that I can't even explain. I don't know what it is. I can't even like put words around. It just it it makes things move. It makes things move. You know what I'm saying? Like you, it. Oops. It's nothing we can control. It. I think it's in our caveman brain somewhere. And it's just like, because I mean, in the most analytical sense, you're right. It's like, yeah, it's what you sit on and poop comes out near there. So it's like, <laughs> if you really think about it in that way, it's not the most like attractive area, but there's something in my caveman brain that turns all that off. And I don't give a fuck about any of that. I am just on it. Okay. There we go. Poll is live. I included the Lake Haram on there too. Just okay. So she put a poll up <laughs> for you guys to vote, vote so we can go ahead and pick next week's cigar now. Now, if you guys have purchased the cigar bundle, it doesn't then really you have them it all. But really, which one would yeah, you prefer? You have them all, and it doesn't really matter to you. But for any of you guys that don't have the bundle and you want to try to go find it locally, that way you have some time. I would suggest just buying the bundle because all the cigars in there are straight fucking hitters and it just makes it easy on you. And actually it's a good price because if you priced out those five cigars, you would have a hard time finding those five cigars for that price. Yeah. Like if you went and bought them. Yeah. It really is um, cheaper to, to do it that way. Mm-hmm. 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 Everybody vote. Vote, vote, Pretty vote. please. Vote, vote, vote. <laughs> Nicole says she votes for the one with tobacco. <laughs> um, Nicole is firmly team booty, by the way. Oh, she's hardcore. Hardcore team booty. Yeah. It's something in my lizard brain, man. Your lizard brain? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? It's like the most primal part of your brain, your lizard brain. It's oh, like I've never heard that before. What? Oh, my God. I've never heard that before. It's like the most base instincts are your lizard brain. Mm. Okay. The ones that you really don't have any control over. It's just fucking. That's what makes you like booty. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any control over. I can't even explain why I like it so much. <laughs> I mean, I really can't. I can't put it in words. I just know that when I look at a big round one, things happen. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Don't know what to tell you. Don't know. Don't know what to tell you. See, it's all about that ass. I'm telling you, man, people get it, bro. There's a lot of guys that are Team Booty. I think when we've done the poll on that in the past, Team Booty won. Team Booty did win. By a, a, a 
reasonable margin, if I'm not mistaken. Reasonable margin. Um, Dustin calls it his monkey brain. Monkey brain, too. We're going to let this poll go for a bit. We'll let it go. Here, lizard, 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 lizard. <laughs> Did y'all, uh, y'all know that term? Lizard brain? I've never heard that in my life. Yeah, man. It's like, it's like the primal part of your brain, like your survival instinct and like, like low level sexual drive that you don't really have any control. It's like the, the shit that like is just part of your like base programming that you really don't have any understanding. Like primal or, instinct. Primal or, instinct. Right. Yeah. Like the primal, like the, the instinct to procreate and but why do they call it lizard brain because i don't like we're not similar to lizards no but i think if i think they say that because if you strip it down to like the most base level right at that point you're basically like a lizard you're not there's not what separates us from the lizards is the fact that we have higher consciousness you're 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 not not following you're not following (laughs) by the way have y'all seen this um this thing that's been going around about the roman empire i want to know all of you men out there, how many times a day or a week do you think about the Roman Empire? Let me know in the comments. I mean, I would say at least once a week. At least once a week. Something will pop up. The Roman Empire was awesome. I never think about the Roman Empire. Dude. Never. How can you not think about the Roman Empire? There was so much cool shit that went on back then. I don't. They ran shit for a long time. Half of I our, don't even know half the stuff they did, really. M- most of our language comes with, it's a Latin-based language. Yeah. So, like, the root of a lot of our words are Latin. I mean, it's, it's a thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't think about it. Oh, we're like neck and neck with the blind faith and the diesel whiskey row. Wow. 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 The Avo Classic is losing big time. Really? The Avo Classics? Avo? S- the it has 9%. The Avo Classic slaps cheek. The Avo Classic is, it is a more mild cigar though. So depending on what kind of cigars people like, and it's definitely not like the most flavorful, robust, you know, crazy shit going on. Um, but for beginners, it's a really good cigar. And it's just a good cigar with like coffee in the morning. Sometimes in the morning, you're not in the mood for like a, uh, Ten uh, times a week. Sorry, see, go ahead. See, Roman Empire, dude. People Ten times a week, a few times a week. See? But then some people, are, Chris was like, literally never. That's yeah. me. I do. I think about it all Three the time. times a week. Not at all. Too much boobies to think about. <laughs> Roman Empire, never. Vikings every day. Vikings, he probably thinks more about Vikings, Vikings too. also, bro. The Roman Empire. And Vi- it's because they were like the, the the bad motherfuckers back in the day. Those are the bitches that run shit for a long time. Like it, they're just they were badasses. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Huh. Okay. Interesting. I, I would say that honestly, I, I do think about Vikings more than than Roman Empire because Vikings were awesome. Which one should we vote for? I have to vote for a one. Which one do you want to vote well, for? I can't vote. That's not fair. Sure you can. It's just one vote. But yeah, but that could change the whole thing. Well, I'm going to vote for one. Then. Vote for, you don't even know what's what. No, what I do don't. You're going to vote for That's like a totally... I'm voting for up. this one. That, that, that's the most ridiculous shit ever. You, you don't even know what you just voted for. I like Alec Bradley. But you could have voted one of these other ones out. I didn't vote it out. My one little vote ain't that close. Hey, man. Calm down. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Nicole has a disturbing thought. Okay, but how often do women in here think about murder? All the time. I can guarantee you my wife thinks about it fucking constantly. Probably every day. Because she is always watching those shows about how to fucking kill somebody. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I follow the true crime. That I think about it every day. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> he said, if you order a cigar bundle, they send you a cookie. <laughs> Brian, Do you? Brian does Oh, that. that's right. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. He's, been yeah. Se- he's been sending cookies out. Yeah, I saw that. Is it a good cookie? Road Hammer? Is it a good cookie? I haven't had one. Dude, that's the best line in that whole fucking... David Stewart, that is the best line in that whole movie. Come and take him. What's that? 
He's, they, they, they say, Spartans, lay down your weapons. And he says, come and take them. Isn't that... Um, 300? Yeah, but... Gerard Butler? Don't you have... Isn't that what... Uh, I have a flag. Yeah, I have a flag. Come and take them. Yeah, they have a flag. But it's which... The, what is that? Is that the... It's like a Spartan flag. It says, come and take them. Does it say those words or is it a different No, language? it's it's in it's in Latin. It's the one, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking mm-hmm. of. I don't yep. know how to say what it I have says. It in my, I, I always what fuck does it, it say? I always fuck it up, too. I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because I fuck it up. Mo... 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 Mo <laughs> <laughs> Molan Lobby. That's, I know that's not the right way to <laughs> yeah, say it. Yeah, okay. Um, that's the one I'm thinking of, but I couldn't. But yeah, yeah, no, it's like one of my favorite things ever. Come and take him. That's like the most badass fucking thing you could possibly say. Lay down your weapons. And he's like, come and take him. <laughs> it's like, okay, bitch, you want to do this? Let's fucking dance. <laughs> it's, it's the most awesome shit ever. All right, I'm letting that go. I'm just going to leave that poll open for a while. Oh, I got to scroll way down. Oh, my wife watches his murder shows. And then she has nightmares. See, I don't have nightmares, but I do watch. I used to watch them more. I haven't watched any recently because I've been watching Suits. Sheila just came but, with um, some. Sheila just came with some. She said, I believe that our male ancestors developed sexual attraction to women with big butts because it increases their chances of having offspring, which would live long enough to pass on their DNA. Or it could just be they knew that chick had some cushion for the pushing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. They Where like, was that? They like a little cushion for the pushing. Is that like, a super chat or a comment? No, it was just a comment. Oh, okay. From Sheila. I From didn't Sheila. see it. Sheila. Sheila. Yeah, Mo, I don't know how to pronounce it though. I always fuck it up. I always say it's. I know it's not Molan Lobby. I don't think that's the right way to say it. Yeah, I think me and Sheila. I think we're we're one and the same. We got a lot of we got a lot of things in common. The murder, the murder <laughs> show. Chris says moldy labia. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh, but it did. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know what it is. It made me laugh. Guffy with another super chat. Appreciate you, Gufferino. I want the goats, Jeremy vote. He wants my vote. I, you know, I don't know. I like. Here's the reason I said I don't want to vote, Guff, because I like them all. I pick them all. I like them all. I my favorite cigar in the bundle is probably either the Oliva V or the Le Carême. Those are probably my two favorite cigars. But I like all the shit in the bundle. I don't know. But see, then I say that, but then that 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 uh, Diesel Whiskey Row cigar is fucking delicious. I mean, it is delicious. <laughs> it is good. You can really, you can taste the barrel influence on that one. It's very sweet and fruity and, and nice. Um, but yeah, I don't want to vote because it's like, I picked them all and I think they're all good for different reasons. Uh, I think the, the whiskey row is delicious and it's an awesome example of a, a barrel aged cigar. I think it's great. The Oliva V like we're smoking it tonight. It's just a fantastic earthy, leathery, delicious cigar. The Connecticut broadleaf on the Le Carême. Connecticut Broadleaf, one of my all-time favorite rappers on a cigar. So, I mean, I love that one. The Avo, even though it's getting just fucking dick stomped right now, it's a fantastic cigar in the morning when you don't want something too crazy. An Avo classic with a cup of coffee in the morning is fucking nice. So, I mean, that's the only reason I don't want to vote is because I I want to see what you guys think because I love them all. I know it's kind of a cop-out, but... It, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? The Le Carim. You know what I'm saying? Aldemir. He, he, he feels me on that, dude. That Le Carim is a fucking peach. It's a peach. Yeah, the diesel cigar is winning right now. The diesel cigar would be a good one. If I had to vote for one. I would probably but vote. But not everybody's voting. 
If I had to vote for one, I would probably vote for the diesel cigar. Only because it's different, right? Of all the cigars we've smoked since the beginning of the live stream, the diesel cigar would be probably the first barrel aged cigar we've had. And it's got a very different flavor profile than some of the other stuff that we've done. So it's for that reason, I might say, fuck it. Let's just do that one next. Um, but whatever you guys want to do, I'm fine with it. We're going to pick the next. Uh, uh, Zachariah. The whole order. Dude, his name's Zach Morrison. No. Yeah, it is. is it, Zach no, it's Morris. In, in, oh. In Saved by the Bell. Zach is it, Morris. Oh, it's not Morrison. It's yeah. Zach Morris. Oh, okay. But I guarantee you he got called Zach Morris, depending on how old he is. Yeah, I guarantee you. <laughs> Appreciate the super chat. Love the reviews. Well, thanks, buddy. Glad you enjoy them. Just a bearded redneck over here giving his thoughts. I'm all right. I think that's what's good about it, though, sometimes, is I'm just a fucking dude. I think sometimes people get a little too... Uh, I've seen some people that get a little too gatekeepy about their about reviews. What? About reviews oh. With whiskey and with cigars. There's a lot of good whiskey channels. There's a lot of good cigar channels out there. Don't get me wrong. But some people get a little too bougie about it. And don't get me wrong, I have my bougie tendencies when I start getting into crazy flavor notes like sweet books. But I also, <laughs> I also am, am one to be like, hey, man, but if all you taste is fucking cigar, great. Like, as long as you're enjoying it, who the fuck cares? You know what I mean? Mm. There's no gatekeeping here, man. No gatekeeping. All right. No gatekeeping. Uh, uh, uh. 126 God dang it. votes. I let it go out again. And I dropped my fucking ash on me. Eight minutes ago. I let it go out. Refresh. I dropped ash on myself. Pretentious. That's the word I was looking for. Some people get a little too pretentious. And I tend to get a little pretentious with it at times. With some of my flavor notes. But the difference between me and people who are super pretentious is I don't think that everything I say is right and nobody else can be right. Just because that's what I'm tasting doesn't that mean what everybody tastes. And whatever you taste, that's what you taste. Don't tread on me. You're supposed to charge your phone before the live, dude. Before the live. Or get one of those little nifty battery packs. Oh, shit. Plug in your phone. I almost ripped my wrapper because I slid the... This slip, ain't the first time your phone's died penny. during the chat. I remember. I remember. Okay. We've got... 11%. <laughs> Odie, man. Everybody's trying to, everybody keeps saying trigger shit like they were doing the end of last live stream. <laughs> Taxation isn't theft. Go. A there's been a bunch. Oh, dude. Been. They try. They yeah. try so hard to get me going. They're trying to get me canceled. Because here's the thing I don't think any of the things I would say on here would get me canceled from this crowd because this crowd mostly agrees with me on most. We, we're similarly minded people. But depending on who catches one of these, it could get me canceled. Yeah. <sighs> All right. So the Blind Faith and the Diesel Whiskey are like still neck and neck, 32% to 35%. Do we let it keep running? Why are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to vote. I already voted. You can't vote on your own poll. You just voted on your own I poll. I voted. On my account. What the fuck? This is tomfoolery. Tomfoolery. What were you going to vote for? Diesel? Diesel. Well, if, it's already winning. If I had to pick one, it would probably be the diesel. Not that I don't love them all, but like I was saying earlier, it's just probably the most different one. We haven't smoked a cigar, a barrel-aged cigar, since we started doing these lives yet. All right. We're going to call it. Don Pepe. You know, that's a good cigar. A Don Pepe Garcia original. That's a good cigar. All right, so I'm ending the poll. Next week's cigar is going to be Diesel Whiskey, Diesel Whiskey Row Sherry Cask. Next week, and we'll 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 we'll, we'll throw that on. And then uh, I'm going to pick the next. I'm going to pick the next one. All we got to do is pick pick them and then send it to Brian so he can put dates. All right. Well, not to Brian. Then we're going to do. Brian doesn't do it. Send it to. Um, Darby. Is Darby still there, or did Darby leave? Or that other dude. That yeah, always, I, think, yeah. I think Darby left, didn't he? I don't know. And then we'll do the Avo Classic. And then we'll do... 
blind faith. I have to throw in the one with the least votes in there. We can't just go in order. Not blind carb. Blind faith. And then, do you guys want to do the the Lake Karem? New poll. Or do you not? New poll. Poll. Oh, poll for what? <laughs> for what? For for new poll. New poll for what? To see if we do the 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 the, the, the Lake Karem. Oh. Okay. I wasn't saying that from in here. Oh, okay. Keith with the five spot. Appreciate you, my brother. Do you know anyone who do you wait? Do you or anyone know tried any of the Oh, I can't pronounce that. Something Japanese whiskeys. Scrolling through Touch of Modern and they piqued my interest. Um No. I do not. I am sorry, Keith. I do not have a wide it's expanse of knowledge on uh, Japanese whiskeys. I really like Habiki Harmony. Love that shit. I drink that fairly often. That's probably the Japanese whiskey I drink is the most often. I have a couple others that I enjoy. Some Nika coffee malt, and uh, there's a Nika straight from the cask or something. I forgot the other name of it. Um, How do you spell Le Karim? Le Karim. Le Karim. C-R-A-E-M-E. Something like that. Yeah, I think so. Don't come at me with my spelling. Come okay. at me, bro. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. So sorry. Sorry to not be able to give you any info with a five dollar uh, donation there. But I don't. I don't. I don't have an answer for you, buddy. Uh, Miller Ross, appreciate you for the five spot. Good night, everyone. Got jockeys. Jockeys to build in the morning. Jockeys. Huh. Jockeys. Jockeys. Jackus? Jackals? Jackals? Jackus. I don't know. Well, Miller? I think that's an I. I think it's an L. Jackals? Why would there be a capital I in the middle of a word? Jackals. Jackals. I don't know, Miller Ross, but I appreciate the super chat. And you have a good evening, brother. Appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with your peeps for a little while. Appreciate you, brother. Have a good night. Good luck building your Jackus in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to taste like diesel Did fuel? My pole go no, Sheila. It's probably one of the friendliest cigars you'll ever smoke. It's a very nice, sweet cigar. It's very nice. It's got a lot of sherry influence because it's aged in sherry casks. It's very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh oh. Look who's fucking here. Beaver's in the house, y'all. Beaver, beaver. <laughs> Leave it to Beaver. We were, you missed, we had a whole conversation about Nod's Beaver and we're going to have to talk about it again because now Beaver's here and we need to talk about the Nods again. The Nods. The Nods are coming soon, Beaver. We need to talk about the Nods. Mm hmm. I told you he'd be here before the end of the night. There's not a lot of votes yet, but it's pretty overwhelming. Uh, yes, on the. They want to do it again, huh? Yeah. But there's not a lot of votes yet. 18 votes. Y'all vote. Y'all vote. Vote, 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 bitches, vote on whether or not you want us to do the Le Carême again. Yeah, just... We've already done a video on the Lake. We did a live on the Lake Carême back probably a couple of months ago. So I just want to make sure you guys want to do it again. You're not going to be Was like... Was it towards the beginning of like when we first started the live? So uh, it's been a while. Maybe we've got a lot of new folks that maybe weren't here for the first one. And so... Dude, doesn't it though, Sheila? I'm saying, dude. It does, Sheila. I, it cracks. It's me one up. of my favorite profile picks ever for whatever reason. Um, and that's why I think because the profile pick plus the com like his comments, like I just have this like character in my head of. It's it's who not he it's is. not just the fact that he looks like. <laughs> I can't tell if he's got no shirt on. <laughs> It looks, it's like a headshot. It like looks like he may be shirtless and he's got on a straight up bub helmet and he's got this like, I don't, can't, it, I feel like he's crossing his eyes potentially. He's he just like, yeah. Hey. You can see, click on, like put him on the broadcast or whatever. You can see it better. Yeah. It's yeah. just the funniest fucking, it's, it's the greatest thing ever. I love the, the profile pic. He's changed <laughs> it a couple times and it fucks me up every time he does. And I'm like, no. Still say eighteen votes. I don't understand. No. 
Super Chat with the 10 spot spades. Thank you, my brother. For the nods and for the future of the wonderful live stream. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. That's also a hell of a fucking profile pic. Okay. Um, Getting wedding shit together for this. Whose wedding? Is it yours? Is it, he's, is it his wedding? Are you getting married, Bieber? Or is it somebody else's I wedding? I don't think he's getting married. I think Bieber's already married, isn't he? I don't think so. Bieber. Bieber. Are you married? Are you getting married? Is it somebody else's wedding? We need more information. Inquiring minds. I, I think Bieber is still very much in the game. Is he? I think so. Guffy with the, with the, with the super chat. Bieber! Um. Yes, sir. See, he is getting married. So, yes, sir, you are getting married. Oh, you're getting married this weekend, Saturday, like the end of this week, Saturday. You're getting married. You are saying <laughs> vows. You swear to only pound one box for the rest of your life. Beaver, the beaver punch. You, 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 you yeah. swear to only punch one beaver. <laughs> your your beaver punching days are up unless it's hers. You, the beaver of punches, solemnly swear to only punch one beaver for the rest of your life. <laughs> hey, man, marriage is great, dude. I'm, I'm getting good. married. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations, Congratulations. bro. Congratulations, so man. Fun. Getting married is great, dude. Getting married. Let me tell you something about great about getting married. And, and there is a lot of stuff that's great about being married. So don't take this as an offensive thing. Don't Anybody don't, you know, because th- this isn't the most romantic thing to say. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but it... it it just makes life so much simpler. It just takes out all the bullshit. You've got your person. You know what I mean? Like that's a big part of life is finding your person. And then once you're married and you've got your per- you've got that part handled. Yeah. You've got your person. You've got the main thing handled. <laughs> so so it just makes life so much easier. It's just it's nice, dude. It's it's I, I am a big fan of being married. If you're married to the right person. Being married to the wrong person can be oh, fucking me. miserable. But if you're married to the right person, being married is fantabulous. Is that a word? Okay. Fantabulous. I'm ending. But that. once again, Beaver, big congratulations, my brother. Very happy for you, man. That's awesome. Jeff C coming to the ten spot to throw Beaves a little bit more congratulatory comments going on. Lots of congratulations for the Beaves. Guffy with the five spot. Beaver is stuck on one beaver. Congrats, brother. That's right. <laughs> he picked out his favorite beaver. Beaver picked out his favorite beaver. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of people saying congrats. Ooh, Kevin just had his 26th anniversary. Congratulations, brother, on beating the odds. You know, I think there's a lot of people in here that have been married for a long time. And uh, it gives me hope. Because the, the fucking divorce rate. We have our 15th anniversary this year. We have year. our 15th coming up. Yeah, man. We have our 15th. It's gone fast. But I've known his ass for um, 25. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. She has had to put up with me for a very, very yeah. long time. A very, very long time in one manner or another. Me and Allison have a very interesting story. Maybe we'll tell on here one day. But we, we've been around each other for a long time. It's been a minute. Uh, All right. So we're definitely doing the, like, Karem. And then I... Oh, damn. Aldemir coming up on his 30 spot. Nice, brother. Congratulations. 32 with Rick. Look at all you guys beating the odds. I love it, man. I like to see it. Makes me feel good. Kevin, 28. See, I told you. We got some We got some veterans up in here, yo. Got some veterans. Hmm. AJ on his 30. 15 with him. With him. Captain. I don't know why I said with him. Um, three years. Hey, man. It's a good start. 25 for Frankie D. All right. All right. Got a lot of veterans in here. We got some fairly new ones in here. Super oh, chat. Don't tread on me. Got married on Halloween. From Maurice with the 10 spot. Appreciate you, dude. I do until she stops giving it to giving it or masking my making. Making my dinners. Congrats, Beaver. I'm at 10 years. 10 mm-hmm. spots. So he's past the seven year itch, bud. I never felt the seven year itch. Never felt it. 24 coming up. <laughs> Chris says divorce for 23. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Yeah, we got some veterans in here, man. 
10 years coming up, smoking oak. <coughs> Got some nice. 25 for Doug. Nice. 14 yesterday. Very nice. Congratulations. Happy anniversary, buddy. Jeff C. with another 10 spot. Here is for Beaver's scissors gift. Hmm. Did you get any? I don't know if Beaver got scissors or not. I feel like maybe he did. I don't remember. I don't remember if the Beav, the Beav got some scissors. Uh-oh, it's time. Hold on. We got to go to this cam. And we got to go We're over here. We're just now doing that? Mm-hmm. That means we got another, like, 45 minutes. Hold on. I got to get this started. This is a problem. Oh, yeah. Oh. Booyah! Bra and panties. The bra actually came off a while ago, <laughs> and now the panties are off. Panty dropping, bitches. Panty dropping. Mm-hmm. 36. Nice, dude. You don't look old enough to have been married for 36 years. Well done, my friend. Well, well done. <laughs> negative 12 years. How do you have negative 12 years, Guffy? How do you have negative years? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand the Gufferino. 16 of the best years of my life. Look at Darren. Oh, sweetheart, he is. Uh, 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 uh. Eight years of two beautiful girls. Very nice. Very nice. 25 years. Dude, there's a lot of people in here that got some fucking years on them, dude. Mm -hmm. Nice, dude. 31. Very well done. Well done. Well done, you guys. Well done. Let's see. Oh, Super Chat. Appreciate the Super Chat. Cartoon Beaver with nods for a patch. You know, we might, uh -huh. have, to, we might have to do a Beaver patch. Oh, Beaver, the patch is coming. If, if you're still in here, Beaver, the patch is coming. I know Beaver was one of the people that was really wanting the patch to put on some of his, his gear and the patches are coming very, very soon. We'll probably before the end of the month, we'll have the patches. Oh, out. really? Yep. 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 We made them out of, um, PVC, the PVC patches, like the, the, mm -hmm. you know, the, yeah. that material, that material, but like all the different no, like just that. just one, just oh. a just a logo patch. We're gonna get the a hat too. And yeah, stuff we're right. we're okay. gonna do a patch hat, and then we're gonna start coming out with a bunch of patches. But just to start off, because you know, not everybody wants to put them just on hats. And this one you could put on a hat, but it's not the shape for the hat. Most of the ones that are gonna be for the hat are oh, gonna be. This is just. This is just gonna be a PVC patch that people put on their gear anywhere you got a hook and loop field. People put them on backpacks on. But it's Velcro. Right? It's Velcro. Yeah, yeah. You put them on helmets. You put them on plate carriers. You put them on bags. You put them on you know anywhere that has a, a hook and loop field. You can. And this is gonna be your logo. Yep. Skull. Yep. Okay. Skull logo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those well, are. Well, I need something that's Velcro. I ain't got no Velcro. That's because you ain't got no gear, bro. You ain't got no gear, bro. Oh, Beaver, what I was going to say, just to give you up to date, because we talked about this early on, is uh, we went and shot, I went and shot some nods this, this past weekend. We went and did some night shooting, and I tested out some, some single tubes, some double tubes, some different stuff, and the nods fund is pretty much funded at this point. So this Friday, I'm going to go put in an order for some nods. I think I'm going to go with white Foz tubes, of course, and uh, the ones the guys at the, the store are recommending are AGM, I think is the company. They had some out there. They were really nice. Um, high FOM, very high FOM, white FOS, really, really solid tubes, um, and a pretty good price. They're kind of middle of the road. I, I can get them for about eight grand. So they're not like the cheapest ones and they're not like $14,000 ones They're right there in the middle, but they seem to be really good quality. Um, I like them. So I'll be getting some of those pretty soon. And then the next thing will be, obviously I have to get the, yeah. the stuff for the, the gun to go along with it maybe a D ball or, or something like that. But, um, I know Beaver's big into the thermal. I don't know. Beaver, did you say you have the thermal overlay for nods? I need to know somebody who has that. Cause I think I want to get that. It's like a attachment that goes on the front of one of your tubes that allows it uh, to have a thermal overlay over nods. Is that something you have? And if you do, or if you've used it, what do you think? Because I'm thinking about that being my next purchase. Super chat from Keith. What do we got? What do we got, Keith? Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Am I only smoking in my bra and panties? Uh, if you, you, uh, uh, <laughs> am I the only one? Um, I don't know. Not am I. <laughs> am I the only smoking in my bra and panties? Am I the only one? But doesn't say one. I There's, know, but he meant to. Um, I mean, I have on a bra and panties under this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't, They're sexy too. Wouldn't y'all shit if my big hairy, 
hairy, burly looking ass, like pulled up and had on. You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Sheila with the super chat. Thank you, Sheila. I'm such a catch. Dustin married me twice. Hey, man, I know people have done that. I, ooh, that's that's almost in the that's almost in the tickle spot there. You gotta be easy. That's that's in the side. Um, I had an aunt that married the same guy. I think three times. It happens sometimes, man. Sometimes you got to do it twice to make sure you did it right. Well, you know, I mean, I wrong oh, nice. That. That's what he has is AGMs. Nice. Do you see you like them? Because those are the ones I'm thinking about going with. They're like I forgot the actual model number, but it's. Um, Am I bothering you? No, you're not bothering me. Why? Oh. Why? Why do you think I you're thought bothering? you were trying to get away from me. No, I was straightening my back because when I arch my back, <laughs> it, my back, I try to remain good posture when I'm sitting. Um, awesome, dude. So Beaver has the AGMs. Cool. So have you been happy with them? They seem great. I use some. The Like I said, the FOM is very high. They look great. I was very happy with them, and I think that's what I'm going to go with. So um, I'm glad to hear that that's the ones you have, too. And I'm curious to see if you've ever seen those overlays I'm talking about. Super Chat from Faith Dimmer. Thank you, my buddy. What is your preferred concert whiskey? Concert whiskey? I keep it classic with Jim Beam. But concert What's concert whiskey? Like, um, I don't go to concerts. Go to a concert. And I don't go to concerts. I don't like crowds. Crowds sketch me out. Too many people. I to, love a concert. Too many people to look at. Too many hands to follow. I don't like them. They sketch me out. That's my weird shit that we've talked about these in live streams before. There's a lot of people out there that are fucking with me. It, it crowds are, are they, they creep me out. <laughs> so I, I don't have a answer. But if I was going to go to a concert, it would be a cheaper whiskey. Throwing like a, a glass flask where you wouldn't get caught with, uh, you know, metal detectors. Uh, Jim Beam. You know, I really like um, uh, Old Tub. It's a Jim Beam product. It's delicious. Delicious. AGMs. Chris says AGMs are amazing. Okay, good. So we're getting lots of lots of good stuff about the... What the hell? Oh, I thought one of the dogs was in here. The, you bump this and it's like breast. Oh. It felt like a dog's nose. I was like, one of the fucking dogs in here? Um, cool, man. Christopher, thank you, man. I'm glad to hear that uh, that uh, uh, there's some people in here loving the AGMs because that is what I think I'm going to go, go, go with. Uh, let's see. A yeah, AGM, Adder, no, Adder, no, Adder, no. I don't have Adder, no. I don't have that, but I'm <laughs> going to get one. Adder. Maybe the Adder is the thing that goes on the front, or maybe he misspelled. I don't know. Um yeah, but I, the, the guys at the at the shop have been talking about them, and they I haven't actually used one, but it seems they say it's badass. They've seen it or used it, and uh, it seems pretty fucking awesome. Okay, so he has a dedicated thermal and night vision scopes. Okay, okay, Roger that. Okay, yeah, I, th I, I I'm thinking that'll be pretty dope. I can't imagine that being a bad time. Having, ther having, you know, night vision with a thermal overlay so you can, I mean, that's just got to be, that's like a cheat code, bro. That's a fucking cheat code. Somebody was telling you to get glasses because you can never read the thing and, um, oh, I guess it was Maurice. And then David said, you won't need glasses from here on out because you'll be wearing your nods on every live stream. <laughs> it's the truth. You know something that I, I didn't, and I, I don't think I inherently knew about nods well enough, and it took me a minute to get used to, is it's, it's one focal wrist distance, right? So you have to change because it's a, it's a lens, okay? So if you focus it in to see, you know, normally you Like binoculars. Right. So like a lot of times people say focus on the stars because you want to be able to see stuff. So you make it so the stars are super clear because you basically want it at infinity. But then if I looked at you, you'd be blurry as shit. Yeah. Now you can twist the end and you know bring you into focus if you need to do stuff close up, um, but that that takes some training. I wasn't used to that at first. Yeah, like binoculars. Uh, changing a magazine efficiently in the dark is an interesting thing. When everything up close is blurry, you really need to have that down to muscle memory to where you're not having to look at it and it's just a fucking fluid motion because or yeah. clearing a malfunction like clearing a malfunction on a gun under night vision is something I'm going to have to train because that's something that I have uh, not done in the past. So it's, 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 it's interesting. Yeah. He said they're excellent for the price. Sweet. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. That's what the guys at the gun store recommended. They really like them. 
Um, and those guys are pretty squared away dudes and they're pretty honest with me about stuff and they're good dudes. So I trusted their, their opinions, but it's always good to hear that other people are validating that and they agree. Uh, don't tread on me. Thanks for super chat, buddy. Uh, can you, can, can see you in pink <laughs> lace? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, that's my favorite kind. The pink lacy kind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Is there any other kind? I mean, there really isn't. Uh, peck. Peck? Or was it a peck I was looking at or was it a D-ball? I don't remember. Is the peck? I don't remember. Ah, uh, you know what's funny is he said, I prefer mono because I can operate my equipment with my left eye and then right eye see nothing but thermal. Yeah, you know... Uh, Logan was saying that Logan really prefers uh, a mono. He likes it because he likes having one eye outside with his normal vision and all that stuff. And like you said, uh, if you know, you're looking through a thermal, then you can have one eye. That's your thing. And then you can have your thermal mounted on your gun. You can look through or hold it up or however you, you have your shit set up. But, uh, <coughs> That that is a thing. I want to. The, the only thing is the 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 mono kind of fucked me up a little bit. Having one eye under nods and one eye n not, it kind of gave me a little That's bit. Of, hard. It gave me a little bit of a headache after a while. After like an hour or so out there, it started to make my head hurt a little bit. Um, it's like having one time at work, I had like a contact got weird or right. something. I had to take one contact out, right. so I, my vision was different in each eye, and right. it, it kind of fucks with you. So I really enjoyed the the duels. Um, and the duels, the, the mount, you can rotate it out. So if you if you need to use one, you can rotate one out of your way and kind of use it. Um, but yeah, I, I know what you're saying. A lot of uh, that's what Logan was saying that he really prefers uh, a single tube. Also, <laughs> Brad, I guarantee you, son, I guarantee you, Jeremy out in the backyard with his drawers and nods. I yeah. guarantee you, well, I will see David's comment below that. David. Big Al will come home late at work and find Jeremy full camouflage in the biz in the bushes with his nods on walking the dog. She's more likely to see me out in the backyard with a cigar hanging out of my mouth with a bump helmet and nods in my boxers walking around like a dumbass. Just walking around. Just, <laughs> just looking at random shit. Just looking at random shit in the backyard with underwear like, underwear come nods. Here. Come with <laughs> Put these on. Come here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. 100%. 100%. 100%. And maybe, maybe my plate carrier, <laughs> just because a plate carrier and underwear and nods oh is like the, I just have this. is the best look ever. <laughs> it would be the best look ever. A plate oh, carrier, I'm in boxers. I'm tell you that. Boots, boots. You got to have on your boots, your underwear, a plate carrier, and your your bump helmet with your nods. That's the look <laughs> right there. Oh man. Yeah, Dustin, it kind of fucked me up a little bit. I, yeah. I, a lot of guys do prefer it, but yeah, it, I mean, I was able to deal with it. Uh, I wore them for you know a couple hours. We did drills and stuff like that, and and I was able to get used to it. But it it did start to give me a headache after a little while. Um, I, I, it may be something that you could train to where your eyes would just get used to it after a while. Um, but it definitely fucked me up a little bit. Yeah, that's what Beaver saying. After a while, you get used to it kind of train your eyes to get used to that, that difference there. Logan says he says he, or he thinks he gets better depth perception because anytime you're looking through nods, it's, it's, there's no really no depth perception. Are there. you going to like keep him on the nightstand like next to your gun at night? <laughs> the, oh dude, I should totally do that. I can get a little nod stand, a little stand. Anytime for, there's like any sound in the house, uh huh, uh huh. he'll be walking around any excuse, uh -huh. any excuse. I got to go investigate. Yep. Got to go investigate, babe. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Derek, super chat, five I totally spot. See it. Thank you, my dude. For the nerd uh, fund, dude, I am a nerd with nods, bro. I'm a nerd with nods. That's a scary thing. <laughs> a nerd with nods. Appreciate you, Derek. Oh, man. Um, that's what I'm saying, dude. Shutting off the power in the house and practice clearing rooms. You got to, man. I'm going to be doing a lot more nods training because the guys that the, at the gun store that I've been hanging out with, those guys are big into night vision training and they go out there almost every Friday night and do night vision drills and stuff, which is really, it's really fun. I had a good time. I actually shoot better under night vision than I do with normal. It's amazing how, how easy it is, especially like with lasers and shit, because you don't even have to fully bring your weapon up. You just kind of shoulder it and just laser. Ta -ta -ta. 
And I mean, you could triple tap somebody right in the fucking chest with no issues whatsoever. Mm. Just tap, tap, tap. I mean, it's quick. It is nice. It is real nice. Uh, uh, yeah, see, he's saying if you pay, plan on walking around, a mono is the way. Because it, it, you do get... Because, okay, think about it. If you're, if you're looking through two of them, <laughs> your depth perception is a little different, right? But if you have one off and one on, you're still getting some depth perception from your two eyes. So some people say they like... They can walk around easier. My thought is, Beaver, is I kind of like the two of them. And then if I need to walk around or if I need to use a scope or something, where I can rotate one out of the way. But if I only have one, then I only have one. Where if I have two, when I want to use two, I can. And when I want to use one, I can just boop, move one out of the way and, and still go with a mono. I feel like we've been talking about nods. We have been talking about nods for a bit. Wait until like they come in. And we do the first, everybody, you everybody, you tell he's been thinking about it a lot. Everybody who's not into night vision is going to hate that live stream because I'm just going to have on fucking nods the whole live stream. And we're just, it's going to be, you'll be blind because, oh no, I can't. It'll fuck the nods up looking at a light like that. You can't do that. Well, yeah. So what are you going to do? I mean, I'm just going to have them on. There's going to be flip. Oh. Up. You just flip them up. You just rhino them. You flip them up. All right, one more question for Beaver, and then I'm going to stop. This is Please, like this is like me geez. and Beaver having, or anybody on here that has nods. Do you prefer Team Wendy or Opscore helmet? Well, I know we talked about bump over ballistics helmet because ballistics helmets are expensive as fuck, and it's not complete. It's not completely yeah. necessary. But I'm curious if you have a bump helmet, if you have an Opscore or a Team Wendy, and which one you like better. I'm thinking I'm going to go with Team Wendy because I think I like their suspension system better. But um, I don't know. I say Team Wendy. Just because it sounds cooler? Because it reminds me of Peter Pan. Oh, dude. Aldemir says he used to love driving a five-ton with nods. I've heard driving with nods is fucking awesome. Seems sketch. No, dude, because you can see. Like, you could roll with your lights off and just see everything. You're just fucking booking. Or if you have IR lights on your car, you can really, <laughs> you can really get her done. Beaver said, when I get home, I'm smoking a cigar with my nods on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying. Dustin's out. Night, brother. Good David night, Stewart's Dustin. out. Good night, yeah. brother. People start dropping around 10. Guns and nods all stream. I'm telling you, dude, it's coming. Y'all just get ready. So Chris has ops core. Okay, so that's one for ops core. Odie Man has ops core. Matt has Team Wendy. Hmm. <laughs> exactly. The live will completely in dark when you get them. He will just have a black screen with his voice. Yeah. I have an HHV helmet. I don't know which one that is. I've not heard of that one. Hmm. 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 I'll have to look at that. I don't know what that one is. I, I've I've kind of been in between Ops Core and Team Wendy. I just, I think the team, if I'm remembering correctly, the Team Wendy, the suspension system, I like a little better because it's got the, the knob in the back and you just kind of turn it and it cinches everything up like symmetrically around your head so that it all like snugs up and fits nice. Right. Okay, there, G Gustavo says, sorry, I'm not putting his comment up, but I'm, got to, I'm lighting my cigar because I'm trying to get this done. It's almost 1030. I usually try to cut it off at 1030. I'm not going to be done with a cigar by 1030. But we don't have to all the way finish it. I can get final third notes, and we can still chuck out about a little bit after 10, 1030-ish. I'm tired. You brought me up that fucking coffee, dude. I'm, like, wired now. I'm like, let's fucking go. Um, HHV. So, Gustavo's got a, uh, one of those HHVs, too. Oh, hard-headed veterans. Okay, yeah, I have seen those, actually. Hard-headed veterans. Okay. Hard, I've, I've heard of those. Uh, David Stewart. Good night, brother. Good seeing you. See you next week. J, uh, JG used a team Wendy. AJ Jarvis has a team Wendy. I've heard, I have heard of hard headed veterans also. I'll have to, I'll have to do, check that one out now. I'll have to check that one out now. Everything with nods is so expensive, though. And that's what I was telling Allison. It was funny. She was, you know, talking about the price of them and stuff. And I'm like, dude, the mount, that, that, that just the mount that goes on the helmet that allows you to connect the nods to your helmet is like 600 bucks. 
I think. It's expensive. Well, you talk about something. If you're tired of talking about Naj, you talk about You go ahead. You add something then, Miss Snor- Snor- Snorapalooza. Go ahead. I, I have nothing to add. What do you want to talk about? Brewmate cups? <laughs> <laughs> This is why we don't talk about shit you want to talk about. I want to talk about... Smoke and Oak, as someone who reviewed your cigar for Pravada's website, any news on the cigar project with them? You know, uh, we haven't moved on that lately. We've got the cigar pretty nailed down, but um, we've been working on packaging, and, and Brian's kind of sent the box. There's been different variations of the box. We're trying to like tune it in. I think we're just going to do like a cardboard box to try to keep costs down. It would be really sweet to do a wood box, but that's going to raise the price of the cigars. And I really want to try to get the cigars in at a reasonable price. So we're probably going to do more like a cardboard style kind of box, more like stuff that AJ uh, New Worlds and stuff come in over like a full on like super ornate wood box because that just adds unnecessary cost. And I don't think you guys really give two fucks about that i mean maybe if we can get a good deal we'll do wood boxes but um i think right now we've been looking at you know a a little bit of a simpler box but we've gone back and forth the design and stuff so no no real updates i haven't had time to talk to brian about it lately because we've been busy uh but we gotta we're gonna do this month's episode of uh local social pub next week so I'll, i'll chat with them then and see um, when we could schedule our next meeting and, and kind of see if we can't get some movement on that. Um, yeah, dude, everything's insane. All the shit. The pro- what are those? The, the the fucking where's my phone? Oh, what's the 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 mount that I was looking at that I wanted to use? Hold on. The mount is the uh, the nope. That's not it. There it is. The Wilcox G24 is the mount that I was going to get. Yeah, the Wilcox G24. And that motherfucker is like 600 bucks. It's like 600 bucks just for the mount that allows you to connect it to the helmet. So that's what I'm saying. You, you, you spend all that money on nods and you still got an extra couple grand in accessories you got to buy. Hmm. You know, it's not, it's, it's no cheap. Great. It's, it's a no cheap, man. It's a no cheap. It's a no cheap. It's no cheap. Nothing you do is cheap. Uh, that's true. So, somebody said that today. Uh, <laughs> um, I just put out a video, by the way. We dropped a video today. Let's, sure see, how, let's see how it's doing. Sure did. You sure guys did. want to do a little live check in and see how the video is doing so far? Let's do a little check. A little check. We're at, uh, okay, we're doing good. About uh, almost 9,000 views so far, which is... We're in the green. We're in the green. 9,000 views. That's good. It was funny, though. uh, We did it on this this pit, fire pit that... um, So if you haven't checked out the video, guys, definitely go go check out the, the... new new video we dropped today it's really a very very cool grill but it's like a fire pit grill thing it's it's a fire pit by design but then they purposely overbuilt the hell out of this thing so that you can attach all these grill attachments and shit because it's like super thick like half inch thick cast iron bowl so you can attach all these grill grates to it and stuff because it's so heavy and thick that it won't bend up It, it holds it but anyway this one guy was like Man, you always do videos on some cool shit, but why is it all got to be so damn expensive? <laughs> and I said, man, because cool shit is expensive, unfortunately. Like, I hate to say it, but it's it's called the cool shit tax. Yeah. Like, cool shit is just expensive, man. I, I don't know why it is. Let I, me tell you, I love, I love that grill. She loves it. I do. Mm-hmm. She loves it. The Patreon folks, I think, got a little sneak peek of that grill. Did they? Last week, yeah. Oh, the Patreon's got a little sneak peek? Whenever Jim and Ricky were here, I posted some. Wilcox G70, then the attachment to your nods to the mounting system is money. The G70, I don't think I looked at the G70. I was looking at the I was looking at the G24, I think it was. Yeah, the G24. I need to look at the G70. What's the G70? Beaver's got me wanting to know what the hell a G70 is. Wilcox G70. Why don't I see that? When I put in G70, it pulls up G20. What the fuck? Oh, what's up with that? That looks crazy. That's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, does that have like a little lanyard attached to it? A little lanyard. A little... Oh, shit. 
It's got its own little... Looks like it's got its own little retention system. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Okay, shit, go. Go, go, go. Girl, go. It might be too, a little late because... Uh, I'm talking about nods learn, too much. But, we're, down um, to, we're down to 200. People are like, I'm not talking Some this, people were asking it. last week if you ever got a discount code for Vertex. Is that oh, how yeah. you say it? Vertex? Vertex. Vertex? But there's no E. No, it's just Vertex. Ver vertex. It's not Vertex. It's just Vertex. It's like, it's like a silent E. It's like a ghosty. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, we got a code for you guys for 15, 15% off. And I'll put the link because there's a link and then you use a code. 15% off. Anything on there. Oh, put it in on there, man. On their site. 15%. Dude, the, these fucking Vertex pants, dude. The, so hang tight. The Delta Stretch. I get it for you. The Delta Stretch LTs are fucked money dude i wear these things almost every day to where my wife is like hey dude how about you wash your fucking pants and i'm like i don't want to take them off okay here's a question okay here's a question for you guys this is a question <laughs> and there's a lot of people saying they watch the video and the grill is awesome thank you for watching i agree i agree i love the grill it's it's expensive and i said it in the video like it's for sure not for everybody because of the price but it is fucking great because not only is it a really cool fire pit that you can just use as a fire pit and hang around and do marshmallows with the fam and all that stuff. But I mean, the food on it is fucking fantastic, man. It is great. But anyway, the question I was going to ask real quick, how many of you guys now, obviously depending on what you're, what you, what you do, this can change, right? So obviously if you work construction and you're out like working and you're sweating your ass off and getting them filthy as fuck, then you have to wash your pants more often. Okay. But me personally, I don't wash my pants. I will wear pants for depending on what I've done in them. Like when I went out that night and we shot night vision at night, and I was sweating. I was out in the fucking woods and I got dirty. I didn't wear those. I washed them. But like, if I'm just like doing shit where my pants are getting dirty, I will wear pants for a week. It's not like I'm fucking going commando in them. I've got on boxers. There's no, okay. there's That's no, okay. you know, nut juice or fucking uh, <laughs> ass crumbs or anything in there. You Nasty. Know, you know what I'm saying? I, plus, I use a bidet, so my ass is clean. I come out that bitch shower fresh every time. But anyway, <laughs> I, I wear pants multiple times. So I'm curious. My wife thinks it's weird that I wear pants. No, no, no. I wear my jeans more than one time. More than one, but like you wear them maybe twice? No, I wear them more, but I don't wear them all day. Like I wear my jeans if I go out, but if I'm home, I don't have jeans on. I have on sweatpants. <laughs> he says pants? What kind of or fancy boy are you? Well, like, yoga pants. I mean, what do you call them? They're pants. Yeah, pants. What else would you call them? He says pants. What, are you kind of, what kind of fancy boy are you? <laughs> they're, they're, trust me, they're not fancy pants. No. They're like fucking, they're fucking, uh, they're fucking, uh, you know, they're like vertex pants, man. They got lots of pockets for lots of pockets for guns and shit. You know. They're just, they're just fucking they're stretchy. They got a pocket over here. They got a magazine pocket. They got your back pocket. And then there's a magazine pocket right I here. Feel like you could size down. No, I couldn't. Because when I put these bitches on when they're freshly washed, they're like fucking But they stretch out though a lot. Like Yeah, but that's because I've had these on for like three or four days. Oh. But there's a, uh, a magazine pocket on both sides. So you got your back pocket, a magazine pocket that you can put an extra magazine or use for whatever. Your phone also fits in it. You got an extra pocket down here for an extra knife. The pockets have a flat spot right here so your knife sits in them real nice. Nice deep pockets so if you carry a lot of shit. Dude, they're fantastic. They're basically meant for guys that carry guns and carry a lot of shit, carry knives and flashlights and maybe an extra magazine and all that stuff. They're, uh, they're great, man. See, Bieber says he's all about yeah, the strip. Yeah, and Sheila's with me. She said, when I'm home, I don't wear pants. <laughs> they come off instantly. I ain't wearing jeans around the house, okay? I'm going to have on yoga pants, sweatpants, lounge clothes, okay? See, a lot of people are saying lounge. a lot of people are saying they don't wash their pants a lot. I don't think you need to wash your pants a lot. Odie Man. You take it to the you take it to the Odie Man for sure. Odie Man, somewhere, I, I thought I saw Odie Man say something about once a week. Yeah. See, I've heard of people putting their jeans in the freezer. I've heard of that to kill the funk. 
Yeah, somebody said that. I think it was last week or whenever we were talking about fans yeah. before. Odie Man says he has the Five Eleven version of those. They kind of suck though. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I Five Eleven pants. I, I there's some of them that I've liked, but they're they're a little heavy for me. The thing I like about these these are the Delta Stretch LTs. And they're thinner, and it's hot here in Florida. So they've got the Delta stretches for, like, in the colder weather and then the Delta stretch LTs for, like, in the warmer weather. And uh, they're, they're super light and breathable, and they feel real nice. Real nice. And I used to wear jeans a lot in the winter, but now that I found these pants, I think I'm just going to get some of the, the normal Delta stretches, not the LTs, and just wear those because they're, they're more comfortable than jeans. Dustin has five times more laundry than I do. Drives me crazy. Really? Really? See, I'm the opposite. My laundry consists of like shirts, shirts and underwear. <laughs> underwear. And that's it. Like my pants, like I might change them once or twice a week. Like yeah. it's, uh, I, I just, I don't go through a lot of pants. He doesn't, he doesn't wear <laughs> socks. So. They're once a week or when they smell. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, unless I've soiled them. Like that's I've, what somebody else said. Unless you spill something on them, they're not dirty. That's what I'm saying. If I've soiled them because I spilt something on them or I've been out like in the woods and they've gotten dirty and there's like dirt and shit on them, then that's one thing. Then, yeah, you kind of got to wash them. Um, but, I mean, other than that, man, unless they stink, like just fucking keep rocking them. Like I said, it, now, now if, if you fucking free ball in them, that's different. Cause then oh, you got, well, yeah. well, then you got Peter tracks in them and you can't, you can't be wearing paint, dirty pants that got Peter tracks in them. It's fucking cigar keeps going. Oh, it's 1030. It's almost time to sign off. I do want to do uh, one more update on the flavors, but I don't want to be on here too late. And we, we're dropping like flies. We're down to two hundo. This is about the time of night. People start dropping people off. People get tired, man. There's only so much of me you can take. Sheila said he is the most high maintenance. <laughs> I love it. Probably weekly. I wear Wrangler 920, 936 Slim Fit ActiFlex. Yeah, man. Like once a week. That's probably about how often I wash his. It's like once a week. Yeah, probably once a week. Usually at about the week mark, they've gotten grimy enough looking. For me, like wiping my hands on them and stuff, they start to get like darker in the thigh region for me wiping my hands and stuff like that that they after about a week they usually start to get kind of mm, mm, you know mm. i'm gonna do one more update on this cigar i'm out of i'm out of a, my beverage is gone too which is a problem my beverage has been gone but i knew this cigar was gonna go one. i knew this cigar was gonna go long because it was, I mean, it was like a seven inch long cigar. We're actually doing pretty well considering because normally we finish at about 1030 and we're not too far off from that. And it's a hell of a long cigar. Final notes real quick, just for the, the, the troopers that are in here. Um, in this one, this, in the one I smoked before, I said uh, in the final third, I got a minerally salty leather note, nutty, almost peanut shell, earthy, musty, pepper still in there but milder, dark chocolate still at times, very mouth-watering. Um, let me see. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Definitely peanut shell. Peanutty, shelly. I'm still getting a little bit of that mineral leather, mineral kind of flavor. I don't know that I'm getting the saltiness that I mentioned in my notes from the other one, but that could have been what I was drinking with it that night or whatever. But there's definitely the leather, a little minerally kind of leather note that I can tell is for sure nutty. And I can see why I said almost like peanut shelly because it's almost like a, a drier, earthier peanut kind of flavor than just like an actual peanut itself. Uh, earth is still very much in there. Pepper is still very much in there. Dark chocolate, still there. The pepper, to me, in this one, I said pepper down a bit, but not in, I'm not noticing that tonight. The pepper, the pepper seems like it's, it's hanging it's in, there. in there. It's hanging in there pretty strong. Yeah. Wait. No. <laughs> I thought I got salt on that one, but it's not. It's definitely a minerally leathery, leathery, mineral, 
earth, nutty, pepper, very, very dark chocolate espresso kind of thing. That's, that's, that's my, that's my final say so on that. Um, the final third for me was more like nuts on my chin. <laughs> it is a nutty. All right, then. It is a bit nutty. The I, I rate it. The one that I smoked here was the Robusto size. It was a five by fifty-two, not the seven. I rated this thing a ninety-four. I really was all about this. It could have been what I was smoking with it that night. I would still rate this very high. I would rate this in the low nineties, easy for me. It burns great. Construction's always good. Draw's always perfect. They're quality cigars. They have really, they're, the flavor profile's right in my wheelhouse. It's, it's just uh, really, really, what did I say here? There's, I said there's a reason this cigar has been Cigar of the Year multiple times. Great flavors, good transition, great construction. This cigar is good for all levels of cigar smoker. So, yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's an overall banger, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this cigar. It is one that I do recommend to people quite often because I really do enjoy it, um, which is why I put it in the bundle. Brad's out. Good night, Brad. Have a good week, buddy. See you next week. Smoking Oak, Jeremy, have you had uh, Tattoo by Tatawahe? I I actually said that right. <laughs> you sounded like you, you I said knew, it I, confidently. I, I, I know the cigar. <laughs> I think you may like it for budget cigars. I think our palates are close. Yes, uh, I do. I have had it. It's been a long time. I don't remember, but I do remember liking the cigar. I couldn't tell you what the flavor notes are or anything like that, but I do remember thinking it was a good cigar. Tatawahe in general... Um, uh, has some has some good cigars, but the tattoo. If I'm if from what you're saying, I think I remember it correctly. Is one of their more budget minded cigars, and um, it, it, it's a good one. It's it's a banger. That mineral flavor made the the last third taste like grilled steaks. Yeah, there's there is there's a minerally note. I'm glad that you said you tasted that too, and I'm not the only one because sometimes when I get some of these notes, I'm like, man, is this is, is this? <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, see, you almost <laughs> fucked up right there. Uh, Dustin's out. Dustin and Sheila. Dustin and Sheila. And Jeff. Dustin, Sheila, Jeff, all of them. Oh, he's got a My Father event tomorrow. Nice, Jeff. Appreciate you guys all coming and hanging out for a while. Love all y'all. Tatuaje Monster Series is the best. Yeah, I think I've had some of the monster ones, too. That's why he makes good cigars, man. I, 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 like I said, I haven't had any in a while, and I can't like remember off the top of my head, like, oh, yeah, that's what the flavor profile was on those cigars. But I do remember liking them and thinking they were all pretty tasty. All right. Well, I've given final thirds. People are dropping like flies. We'll go ahead and try to close it up. Next week, uh, don't forget. What did we pick for next week? The bourbon one. The bourbon. Yeah, the uh, Diesel Row Sherry. Uh, Diesel Row, uh, Diesel Row, Diesel Whiskey Row, Sherry Cask. Um, if you want to go grab it, uh, if you are so inclined, the beginner bundle is available on Pravada's website under, you go down and you'll see my mug. Click on that. It's got all my selections in there and it's got the beginner bundle on there. I will link down below. Again, I I'm, can't. Uh, you can also go to jeremysires.com can go click the, on leaf and barrel yeah the the new website is up and running we got a newsletter out so you guys if you want to sign up for the newsletter we'll be giving updates on stuff that's coming drops that are happening uh we're trying to think of something cool to like do just to add a little extra something special for people in the newsletter maybe doing a whiskey of the month or something crazy just to add a little something extra a little benefit for people that are on there um but yeah, but we'll also be doing, we're not going to throw out like emails constantly and drive you guys crazy, but we will be doing updates on things that are going on, drops and stuff like that. So if you want to keep up with stuff and what's the happenings, that'll be a good way to keep in touch. You can sign up on the website, whiskey, diesel row. Why do I keep saying that? Diesel whiskey row <laughs> next week, bundles, links below, new t-shirt. I updated all the links below, the shirts, the discord, the discounts <laughs> all, the, all things, the things all the things bourbon babe shirt for the girls cigars whiskey guns and freedom for the guys patch is coming soon 
I think that's all, all the, the updates. Things. New video all out. If you haven't checked it, go watch the new video. I think that's all the updates. All right, guys. <laughs> well, appreciate all the super chats. Appreciate all you guys coming and hanging out with us for a little while. All you guys have a fantastic week. We will see all you bitches next Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Be here or be square. Bye. One more time, Beaver. Congratulations, man. Have a good wedding on Saturday. Probably won't see you next week because you'll probably be on your honeymoon. Have a good time. Punch that beaver a lot on the honeymoon. All right, buddy. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye. Bye.